TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select move to front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops, and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hochanda. Good finished. morning, everybody. A warm welcome to Ho Chanda. So we've got a fantastic hour ahead. We're taking a look at our one day special. It launched yesterday at six. Very popular. You're going to see why in just a moment. But speaking of popular, can I introduce you <laughs> to the lovely Rebecca? Hello, Rebecca. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm, I'm very well, Rebecca. We've got a chat. How do you look so fresh at this time in the morning? What's going on? Oh, well, I'm just fresh cheating because I've, I've just said I need to have a big yawn. So. Well, it, it worked. That is it obviously secret. worked. It did. You had a yeah. haircut? I had a haircut. Yeah. Well, see, now, <gasps> Natasha, I spoke to Natasha mm. and she's uh, still in the studio. Looking very glamorous, Natasha. <laughs> Rebecca looks very glamorous. Yeah. I feel I'm letting the side down. Well, I was so lucky because I book my hair appointments normally six months in advance. Yeah. And I happened to book one 9 a.m. July the 4th. And that was like the first. And you just stuck to it. And that was the first day they opened. So how lucky you was I? You couldn't write that. I know. I oh, know. there we go. It's working. You look great. So I have got uh, a haircut. <laughs> speaking of looking <laughs> great, we're going to talk about the uh, one day special. Now, I have to say, storage wise, and, and Chang to Rebecca, and I have so much time for Rebecca because as a crafter, uh, she effectively, she's in your shoes. So she's been there. She's incredibly talented. And she was saying to me that everything here she would use look at the saving as well and I don't want to just focus on the price because there's so much more here uh, to the story apart from the price but the saving is incredible and that is a genuine saving you are saving 50 pounds and to put that into context what you're seeing here you're effectively paying seven pounds per piece when oh it's seven pounds 28 so uh, having a look here storage this is your round uh, cutting box crafting box I should say sorry uh, seven pounds 28 how much would you expect to pay for something like that uh, the whole range it's got a very elegant look to it and obviously it looks like a collection so if you were to have this in your craft room the quality as well and Rebecca we've got to talk about the quality because yeah, I mean, a that's... brand I mean look you've got Corbon so it's a good brand and they really do bring quality well to me that's what it's about is that um, you know, there's so much different storage you can have for craft. I've got plastic boxes, I've got nice fabric boxes, I've got carrier bags. But this is really good quality. It's m all made from good quality um, fabric, wool, there's wood yeah. involved in it. Everything has been really thought through. So even things like the knitting bag is extra padded. Um, the two wool items, they've got wooden handles. And it, it, it just is good quality. Well, let's just break this down. 
Uh, the quality is there. Now, what I'd love you to do is just think if this would work for you. Now, not only are you saving that, it's a 50% saving effectively, but you're also uh, getting the two flex payments as well. So 2547 today, you're getting everything that you're seeing in front of me and uh, all the elements. So what I want to do, I'm going to go through it and then let's just see how it would work for you. For instance, let's start with our round crafting box. So uh, you've got a lot of space within the box. You can see there to put all your little crafty goodies. Then you have the tray as well to separate. How would you be using this, Rebecca? Well, I've got one here okay. of my own. Well, Lucky we me. We'll take a little look. Yeah. <laughs> look at mine. So, well, I would use mine for a sewing box because that's what I do mainly. I'm a sewer. And I've just put a few yeah. things in mine so you can see. So the outside of it is made from this lovely herringbone fabric. Yeah. And it's all padded as well. It's really good quality. The top um, is a wool mix fabric and it's tartan. Mm -hmm. You've got a really good solid tray and it's clear which is quite nice because I've got a couple of sewing boxes and you can't see through but this is clear and then I've just put a few things inside but it's actually um, let me show you there it's actually lined with a really nice white linen fabric which yeah. keeps everything clean so I would use it as a sewing box okay. you've got this bit here as a, that you can use as a pin cushion done so that is oh and you've even got sorry now I just noticed that the pin cushion yeah so we've got our sewing box there we go. Let's move on. Now, uh, this is interesting. This is your herringbone, uh, herringbone knitting bag. And one thing that really strikes me is you're not going to, you know, sometimes with uh, knitting storage, you struggle a bit for that space, especially the uh, longer needles here. Yeah. You're not going to struggle. That is a very practical handy bag but very sophisticated and stylish as well so can we have a look at your one Rebecca? yeah so I again I mean I love knitting and crochet so I filled mine with wool you've got, got loads and loads of wool in there but it's got this really good pocket that goes from here all the way down to the bottom which makes it a very deep pocket and I so I got all my longest knitting needles clearly I have loads uh -huh. of them um, and they go in really easily you know this isn't going to be a tight fit yeah. and they and these are the longest ones I've got Perfect. But what's good about it is it's again it's it matches these these two are friends because oh, okay. they've got the same yeah, the you same can see fabric. That. I mean the whole set goes together because it's so, all grey. Perfect to store your yarn, your needles, goes together with your sewing base. So yeah. now we're already starting to build up a picture. Well the, the whole set goes together because yeah. it's all in this lovely grey, but these two are particular friends. Yeah. And we like that. It's lined in the same fabric that you get on the outside. And then between the two it's not like a wadding, it's slightly thicker, more like a foam, so it's very okay. padded. Well, we're just taking a look. We're on the camera above you, Rebecca. So we're just taking a look inside. Oh, you can see. So well, I can show you. You've got in there as well. With wool. Well, I've got about twelve balls in there, and you can see it's not full. Yeah. But I would use it as well for just general calf things. So if I was going to the wor a workshop for the weekend or just a, a day workshop, you mm -hmm. could put quite a lot in here, and because you've got the pocket. But well, if you're moving around the home as well. Yeah, and good. what I love about storage is I tend to use my storage sort of multi-use. So this would be great for a, um, a little overnight bag, a pair of shoes. You could get your makeup in one end. Um, Why not? An outfit. It doesn't just have to be a crafting bag. No, you can chuck all the wool out, then okay. use it for something like that. But great tool bag as well. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so there's our <laughs> uh, knitting bag. Uh, now, we're, should we go down here? Let's have a look at this beautiful box. So we have this lovely little box. That's a trinket box. So now, again, that's something you could have in any room. I love the clasp on there too. It's got a beautiful little clasp. Uh, a nice little detail. So that would be a trinket box. It could be a jewelry box. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've used mine to store. I've got some stranded cotton in it. So I would probably use mine to store small sewing things in. On the lid, this is padded. Mm -hmm. And it's got a lovely gray fabric with a, the lace edge. So you could use it to, you know, to put pins in. Really good for jewellery because you could poke earrings in the top of there and then you could keep more inside. Oh, yeah. um, quite good for gifting, to be honest, because, you know, if you bought the whole set and you think, well, I don't want to keep all of them, some of them will be ideal for gifts. And this one you could fill with um, soaps or sweets or tea bags, herbal Whatever teas, like. that kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah. Um, it's quite feminine because of the lace insert. One thing I'm noticing, Rebecca, is the quality, obviously, it's a wooden box mm. and just the quality of the hinge and everything It's about a really nice it. quality and the clasp is lovely. Yeah. You know, it's not just one that shuts, it does shut nicely. It is, I think that's what I love about the whole set. Mm -hmm. It is very good quality. Yeah. So we've got our trinket box. Yes. 
And we're nowhere near done. We mm -hmm. started with our, our round uh, craft box, which we said could be our sewing box, went on to our a knitting case. We have our trinket box. This is another feature that we can use in any room. There's your desktop tidy. Being gray, you can imagine if you wanted to put this in the desk, it's unisex, it works for, for anybody. You have got the little holders for your pens as well. So as crafters, <coughs> what we could do, you can just see uh, in there. Uh, do you know what I would be doing as a crafter? You could put your tools in there. So think about your embossing tools, uh, perforation tools, maybe your pokey tool. Uh, all of those little tools that we have lying around, you've got those in there. How have you used yours? Well, I've used my put sewing in mind so these three are friends again because okay. um they're all covered in the same really lovely gray kind of a tweedy multicolored effect um this one is really nice it's got it's made from mdf on the side so it's really solid yeah and then in here there's a little drawer oh, that's so your desktop storage and we will get so to this that, is yeah. desktop storage so yes i've used mine filled fill mine with buttons and press studs and pencils and things so mm -hmm. as a crafter you could put all those little p bits and pieces in perfect for the home office or work office put side beside the front door you put your mobile phone in your keys everything yeah. when you come in from work oh, that's a you know, that's a great idea and then this one yeah. as well, because I've used this because I have so many marking pens. I've got heat erasable, water erasable, all sorts. So I've put all my pens in because I love the little bits of elastic. And you can get a couple of pens in each one. I've put mm -hmm. some sewing thread in the other side. And, you know, it's got this really handy carry handle so you can take it around. If you just want a, you know, a small sewing kit that you can carry around, perfect. But again, ideal for the desk bedside table yeah that's what I would use it for we like that so you're getting uh, the caddy which we've got there uh, we had a little sneak preview at the desk tidy <laughs> as well just having a look here so now this firstly it's the weight and I'm, I mean that in a good way because you've got that reassuring weight to it it's a quality if you listen you can just that movement you know we do everything about these is quality so uh, in all the different components so what I would be thinking here is tidying up now we talked about having it on the desk but what about the jewelry as well that could be a jewelry box yeah because wanted. it's quite it's got really deep and i've got lots of buttons in this it's quite deep so it's it's a very multi-purpose thing and again ideal for gifting as well mm -hmm. so if you wanted to give buy somebody you know a present a little bit extra special you don't need to spend a lot and then you can fill it with nice things either pens and pencils or jewelry or soaps nice. and that's makes an ideal gift as well we're not even done yet we're <laughs> still more uh because in fact, it's like classic shopping TV. There's still more, but there really is still more. Uh, so having a look here, now this is nice. So this is our felt, uh, it's a felt uh, tote, tote, there we go. So having a look, and you can see the wooden handles that Rebecca alluded to earlier on, you can listen to both options. Being felt, it, it just has that quality, that feel to it. And could we then felt onto it a design if we wanted? Yeah, you could. I mean, it's very, very thick felt. Yeah. So you could sew onto it. You could um, felt onto it, but you could cut out shapes from fabric, applique onto it. You could even embroider through it. But it is, it's hard to see, isn't it, how thick? But it's a very good quality mm -hmm. thick felt with these lovely wooden handles. I filled mine with wool because I do a lot of knitting and crochet. Yeah. And quite often when I'm doing that, the wool rolls off around the lounge floor, gets caught by the mm -hmm. dog. So if I was using mine, I'd have it in the lounge, put my knitting in it. But it, I did also, because it's very classic, um, would go with any interior, sort of that kind of Scandi look, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking living room, if you wanted, we talked about uh, just a little spot where you can put your remote control and other, yeah. other things. Yeah, also you could put, you know, magazines, newspapers yeah. in here. Um, one idea, that a few people have said is put some kindling in it so if you want to put it by the fire you know it's really smart isn't it yeah. you could have your kindling your matches in it by the fire well, i think just it's if you just want it as some home decor yeah it's it a way, it's a really itself. good way if you know when you want to update a room but not spend too much yeah. and you just get a few key pieces mm -hmm. and the, it's friend because it has a friend as well, yes. is this one. And they, they're made in exactly the same way. They've got this lovely thick grey felt, so the wooden handles. Craft bag. Yeah. So it's a craft bag, but again, you could use it yeah. in your living and room, the, the, the two of them together. Of that I know, I mean, I've got mine filled with dressmaking patterns, yeah. fat quarters of fabric. I've got 12 fat quarter bundles of fabric in here. Wow. 
But the design of it, it has this flap that attaches to the handles, goes all the way around the bottom. And the reason for that is, is it gives it a good, solid, sturdy base, yeah, so it will stand stand still. So uh -huh. if you wanted to use it to, say, put bottles in to take on a picnic or something like that. That's a great idea. So again, it's multi-use, yeah. so you can, or oh, what a lovely handbag. Yeah, and two, for £7.28, that's what it works out at. I've got to tell you, we are busy for the one-day special. We knew we are going to be busy. If you consider as crafters, and look, that is the joy of being a presenter at Hochanda, because you know, our audience, you're crafters. Everything here you're going to use. So I have a tick list, and I talk about this all the time, but if I'm going to invest in something, uh, I, we look, we totally understand you're not going to buy everything every hour. So uh, as a craft, this is my tick list. Is there a reason, is there a special price why I should be getting something right now as opposed to maybe waiting? You can see it, absolutely, that's a big tick because one day special, at the end of the one day special, the price will go up by 50 pounds. So you are getting a genuine 50 pound saving and we can appreciate that. So another tick is, am I gonna be using these? And as crafters, every component you are going to use. And that's the thing, one thing I found being a presenter at Ho-Chanda, I noticed because I've kind of made our spare bedroom has turned into a sort of a pseudo craft room for me. And I find that I'm space and storage, suddenly it, you're getting things, it does get cluttered. So having that storage available, but this is something my wife wouldn't mind me having out on display because it looks good. So sewing box, seven pounds 28. That's how much it works out at uh, if we were to break everything down with the price on your screen. And remember you have got that flexi payment. So 25.47 today. Sewing box, you will absolutely use. If you're a sewer or looking to get in soft craft, I think that is a fantastic sewing box. Uh, here for your knitting needles, does it, if, if you're not into knee, knee, uh, knitting, you can use these, uh, this bag for so many other different guises. Could be an overnight bag if you wanted. It's just a beautiful bag. The herringbone design gives it such a sophisticated look. You would, just for this one bag alone, and unfortunately all the individual options have sold out, but just for this one bag alone, are we able to find out, Meg? I'm just, uh, my curiosity, I wonder how much that is if we were to buy that individually. All right, thank you, Meg, our producer. Uh, 17.99 you're paying £7.28. All right, so we got our bag here. Now when we start getting to all the, start tidying up. So we got a little uh, charm or trinket box, which you can see here, but it's the quality, everything, you can hear it, everything about it, solid wood. You can turn this for your needles, so you can put your needles in there as well. That has got such a charm. You can imagine that in your bedroom, a guest bedroom, just a beautiful little trinket box. We've got our desk tidy as well. So our little caddy, in there, so caddy all day long. I know we will use this. You've got that's going to fill up very, very quickly, but looks good. Then we have uh, desktop storage in here. It's the weight, the quality, and that's something I really know you can't uh, appreciate at home. But it has got that reassuring weight and quality to it. Beautiful design. So there's our storage. Then we go on to our yarn tote. So this is our felt uh, tote being felt, and I'm as presenter, it really loathes me to keep repeating the same word. But genuinely, everything I'm feeling here, quality, quality, quality. So you've got this beautiful to tote, great size, not just for crafting, but I think, look, as crafters, a lot of this you are going to be using in your craft room. You can totally revamp your space right now. Have a look or have a think about where you craft. Imagine all of these different storage components transforming, literally in one purchase, you're going to transform the room. And then we've got our final storage here. That is our felt craft bag. Look at the size of that. That is, a, a, I say size, you can get so much into this. And again, it is uh, so diverse in the forms of how we're going to use it. 50 pounds and 93 pence. You are saving a whopping 50 pounds and you got access to flexi payments. It is our one day special. It is busy. If you want to pop it into your basket, 141306, your item number. All right, we're going to move on. We've got some happy hours for you. Uh, okay, so as the name suggests, happy hours, they're only around for this hour, or, and I've got to say this while stocks last, because we anticipate these are going to be busy. Have a look at this beautiful wood, you can see, just showing you here. 10 pounds 49 for your Millwood wooden craft 
desk caddy. You've got four different components coming through. You can see the quality of the joins on the wood. I mean, it is just a lovely, lovely piece that you will proudly, like our one day special, you'll proudly have on display. And there is something uh, I think so appealing, having that raw wood, that beautiful uh, wood finish. Oh, it's not wood finish, it's fully wood, but it has that look to it. Uh, for me personally, I think you could break this down so many different ways. If you are a crafter, we could be filling it with our embossing powders. Uh, you could be putting your pens in there if you wanted. You can put embellishments. It doesn't matter what type of craft you're into, whether you're a paper crafter or a soft crafter, you would be using this. Uh, out of interest, Rebecca, how would you be using this? Um, well, I've got loads and loads of bits and pieces in my craft room yeah. because of, I've got locks and clasps and bag fittings and D-rings and all of those sorts of things. And I normally keep them in a big plastic jar. So that's what I'd put in oh. it because there's different compartments. We had a good idea from the team, actually. They were saying for the kitchen. Yeah, be brilliant, oh, that's wouldn't a it? Good, that's a good... Uh, so, you know, got that little rustic country vibe. I, I can't take credit for this. This was uh, Meg <laughs> uh, and also our baker. Baker. Uh, OK, so just showing you there. Uh, £10.49 is your price. 562 291, your item number. We are very busy here. Uh, it is a happy hour, and I'm going to reiterate, although happy hour, we always say happy hours around uh, for the full hour, it is also while stocks last, so I'm just putting it out there, and it is a better than half price saving. Uh, we've got another happy hour for you. Look at this. So this could be another option with regard to a sewing box here. So you've got your beautiful craft storage box, twin fold lid. So you have got that beautiful, oh, come on, look at that. That looks very handsome indeed. You can imagine that in your home. Uh, and every compartment here, or every aspect, it just works for you. I've got to show you here. Now, there's little touches. So you've got the tray, solid wooden tray coming through. So if you're a jewelry maker, but I just want to pop in. There's, there's two little points I really want to get across. You've got a lip that the tray sits on, which means you've got all the storage underneath. But if I do, just show you there. If I was to place the tray inside, you've also got a little hinge here and here. Let me just turn that around. There we go. Got that one. So you've got this little hinge that locks it in, which means if it was to rock or shake, the tray isn't going to be falling out. So you can secure uh, your tray in there as well. So it's these little touches that make a huge difference. Uh, it's a beautiful tray. Wood. Do you know, the thing is, with wood, it looks good, it smells good, and it's just got that real organic feel to it. 1899. Now I challenge you to find a wooden uh, storage case or, or store if you want it to be a sewing case for that kind of price. What do you think, Rebecca? Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's really good. I, I'd be really tempted to paint it as well. I was looking at. I mean, I love yes. the beauty of the natural wood, but I think I'd paint it and decoupage it as well. It's just something really appealing about plain wood that you just want to decorate it. But it's it's a real classic piece, isn't it? Well. It's, I like you imagine sewing boxes used to be with the wooden handles as well. Yeah. I quite fancy that. Do you know, you're saying all the right things because it is a classic piece. And think about painting or getting your stamps on there or if you've got any beautiful decoupage papers, just get a hint, just a hint of uh, character and personalise it and make it shine. Functionality, uh, it will work for you, but it also looks good as well. Uh, if, if you wanted... To, well, I say this will work in multiple guises too, so craft any kind of craft. Right, we're going to move on. We've got something else that I think you're going to like. So those are your happy hour deals. They're both busy. Now we've got a quilting kit for you. This is a comprehensive quilting kit. You're getting your rotary cutter in there. It is safe rotary cutter, so you have got uh, the protection there as well. You can see there with the... Um, oh, so it protects the blade so you're not going to be cutting yourself. And then you have your ruler, your quilting ruler, and you've also got your mat for a great price. So two flexi payments of £20. And this is your wheelhouse, Rebecca. This mm. is your happy place. So yeah. good bundle? It's a brilliant bundle. I mean, I, I do a lot of time. The last time I came on and presented, we talked about I made a quilt saying you don't have to have a rotary cutter to do this. You can do it with a pencil and scissors. But once you start quilting and sewing, and not even just quilting, you will realise the benefits of having one. So I use my cutter and my mat all the time for cutting strips of fabric, for doing binding. I even use it for cutting paper if I want to cut out, you know, if I printed off something and I want to cut it out in a square, I use it for that. So it's one of those things, if you haven't got 
this equipment and you need the cutter, the mat and the ruler, you need all three, this is a really good start. But if you already do, like I do, I've got a really big cutting mat and a very long ruler, this is perfect because sometimes you just want to cut small things, you just want to even put it on the ironing board and cut and press all at the same time, it'd be perfect for that. Yeah. But if you haven't used the rotary cutting system, your sewing life will be transformed if you do. For anyone, I think, who just needs to restock, so maybe you've got a mat that's seen better days, you haven't got a ruler, or you want to get another rotary cutter, fantastic bundle. But also, if you are looking to explore, maybe you're slowly starting to explore soft crafts, this is a must-have. Every component here, from the ruler to the mat to the rotary cutter, it really is an absolute essential. At 306, 138, your item number, everything you really need, tool-wise, uh, well, not everything, but these are kind of your go-tos, ruler size. I mean, this is the size of rule that uh, a lot of ex experts kind of say, when you're starting off, it's a great size to get. Matt, you are absolutely going to need your, uh, your cutting mat, and then you've got the rotary cutter, which is another must-have. Uh, just very quickly, I know Rebecca would endorse this. Whenever you work with a rotary cutter, and I've seen you work <laughs> them, Rebecca, always away from yourself. Whenever you finish cutting, make sure to put the cover back, and obviously you have got the cover on your rotary blade. Uh, there you go. So you just literally, you release you cut and the minute you finish cutting you cover up again get good practices in uh, 306 138 your item number have a oh, the multi mat uh, I've seen these before and I think this is absolutely incredible because you've got so many different surfaces to play with so first of all now look at the size so if you are crafting on the go it's great and whether it's around the house or in time when we start going back to uh, doing workshops or meeting up with friends so let me just show you have you been and Rebecca can I just ask you this question at mm. classes I hear a lot sometimes people have to queue up to wait to use the iron yeah that's really annoying because I mean I've taught workshops before where I've got two ironing boards and 20 people and they're yeah. always queuing up to do it and sometimes particularly if it's a patchwork class it's only a little seam that you need to iron so some ladies will bring their own and it does make quite a difference yeah. because so then you can just crack on. Well, that's the key. So here you've got your ironing surface. It opens up uh, and here that turns into your ironing board. So you've got your ironing surface. And then when we open up, so let's think about as a sewer, what do we do? If you need to cut your fabric, you've got that here. So you've got that uh, self-healing cutting mat. So we can cut. If you want to uh, lay out your blocks, you've got that option here. And then you've even got the anti-slip uh, surface as well. So you've got that anti-slip surface if you want to lay things out. So four different unique surfaces uh, to work with, all in one for $16.99. It's compact. It looks good. It, this is something, I mean, Rebecca, I can imagine just how usable and useful this is going to be. It really is. I mean, what I would use it for is because sometimes you're sitting by the machine and you, don't, you know you need to really be pressing that seam or, but you can't be able to get up to go to the ironing board if it's in a different room. It's ideal because it's right next to you. Yeah. And it, because it opens up flat, you've got quite a decent, because it's A4 size, but when you open up the ironing section, it's two of those, so it's an A3 size. It's quite a decent size. Yeah. And having a little cutting mat like that, an A4, that's perfect for you know smaller pieces of patchwork where you just want to trim and cut because the more trimming cutting and pressing you do between each stage the more professional finish you'll get mm -hmm. so, so don't skip it and this is perfect for stopping you skipping that well I'm kind of thinking we talked about the virtue of if you wanted to take this on the go but also mm -hmm. around your home or even if you're sitting in your craft room I think so many crafters are going to relate to this suddenly your workspace gets busier and busier yeah so you might have started off with a nice big desk and suddenly it's just getting busier and busier and busier so you've got a smaller footprint to work with when you have this just sat by your side rather than having to put up an ironing board yeah. to do the ironing or use a big cutting mat you've got it all here and then fold it away and put it to one side so it stores beautifully too 16.99 it isn't new today I understand that we're not saying there's a massive saving on this I think for 16.99 that price is fantastic in itself it's it a really is. It's a really price. good price because when I I wanted to sort of read up and see what it did and everything, mm. and I had a look around, and actually this was the cheapest that I saw. Mm. I mean, look, <laughs> it's interesting. I'm hearing the team; mm. and they're kind of saying, look, "How much would you pay for an A4 cutting mat or for uh, an A3 sort of pressing yeah. mat?" So when you start breaking all that down, that price is it's an, it's an all-in-one. It really is a catch-all at a good price. Sixteen ninety-nine, and your item number is six nine one two seven eight. 
Now we've got some fabrics on the show for you as well. Uh, we've got a fat quarter bundle for you. This is your natural for 9.99, 817-685, your item number, if you want to pop that into your basket. There is more though to be had. We also have a printer, uh, printed fat quarter bundle as well. So you're getting a five piece set here, $13.49 your price. You've got your natural print fat quarters, uh, beautiful, I, actually I really like the print on these. Uh, 864828 your item number. Uh, one more thing to share with you. We also have the floral set. Now this is an eight piece set, $19.99 your price. Uh, and you're getting a fat eighth bundle. 50 by 27 centimeters and 398 959 your item number like the prints beautiful colors uh, in there or the print right say and beautiful colors okay we're going to start having a play i know there's a lot on the shot so uh show rather rebecca what are we going to be looking at well, let's have a look at the mat i just wanted to talk you through what happens what you do okay. if you've never used a rotary cutting mat before you've not done it um then I'll, I'm just going to give you a start. So this mat is 18 by 12 inches, which is perfect for your beginning. You're not going to be able to cut out really, really long strips and quilts. But if you're beginning or you need an extra one, this is ideal because you can cut out all of those blocks. You know, you can cut out a 12 inch block, a six inch block, whatever. The ruler is a six and a half inch square, which is perfect for all sorts of different um, quilt blocks, particularly half square triangles and things because they're not often bigger than this and because it's a small six and a half inch block it's easy to turn around and manipulate then you get the cutter as well and um, as Yanis was saying really important this blade is incredibly sharp fantastic that it's incredibly sharp because you can cut through four to five layers of fabric with it and easily save so much time once you've rotary cut you won't go back to scissors again but because it's so sharp you must close the blade um, but don't worry, you will cut yourself at some point and then you will close the blade and that's the way you learn. It's mm -hmm. like muscle memory. Yes. Once you cut yourself with your rotary cutter, you will always close the blade. And now I don't even think about it, I always close the blade because... Well, I always find, and you, you hear it, if you get into the habit early on, just know you, use your, you, you sort of uh, release the mm. blade, you cut and then you put the blade back up. Because like you say, if you ever do cut yourself, yeah. you'll, you'll know about it. I've heard well, it's a few like stories. it's worse than a paper cut. Yeah. It's just irritating. But don't worry, you know, people think, oh, it's a really sharp blade. But, you know, yeah, you might cut yourself. But if you cut properly, the only time you'll cut yourself is if you forget to close the blade and then you yeah. put it somewhere. But if you cut properly, this is the reason why you use a proper ruler. Don't mm. use a plastic rule, a normal plastic ruler that you'd use for. Um, maths or yeah. in school don't use a metal ruler you need to use one of these because the problem with this if you don't use a proper thick perspex ruler like this is that the blade will jump over mm -hmm. and you won't get a neat cut so I'm just going to show you with a piece of fabric here what would you say to anyone who maybe is used to scissors mm. a little bit daunted with rotary cutters so I, I tend to find being a presenter here at Hochanda uh, experts You've gone from, it's that next level up with the rotary cutter. Yeah. Most experts do well, use the rotary I cutter. Well, when I first bought, and I remember when I first bought one and I thought, well, I can't see why I'm going to need this. What's the point? I've got scissors and a pencil. But it's more accurate. When you're, if you're doing patchwork, accuracy is absolutely key. You've got to get your seam allowance accurate, but you've also got to get your cutting. If you're trying to sew together three inch squares of fabric and you've got 12 of them, Every little bit of inaccuracy adds up and then your finished item won't work. But say you just want to cut a strip, a binding strip, because you want to bind the, um, the bottom of a hem or the edge of a bag or something. If you cut it exactly one inch wide, then it will be, when you bind it, it will be exactly a quarter of an inch wide. And when, if you don't have a rotary cutter, then how do you do it? Well, I suppose you draw a line with a pencil and ruler on a piece of on, on the fabric but again inaccuracies come in place and it's yes it does take a little bit of practice but not loads and I do remember when I first got mine thinking oh this is quite mm -hmm. easy really okay well should we see some cutting? so so let's start off so what you would do when you start off I'm going to go through a double layer of fabric here yeah. and obviously with our rotary cutter we can cut multiple layers you can you can cut lots of layers so the first thing you do is you line up your fabric this is just to how to cut the edge straight um, you line it I'm going to line up the fold on the bottom line here mm -hmm. with a little bit sticking out. 
So now I can see the line on here and you can just line your rotary cutter up. I'm going to line up the one inch line along there because this is straight. I know that's straight. The trap the blade, always cut away from you. Don't cut that way. Definitely don't cut towards you, but don't cut that way either. Turn mm. the fabric or the, um, the board round because you won't get as good cut because you need the pressure of your hand. You also got to be cutting at the right height. Don't cut too high or too low. Um, you know, work surface height is good. I sometimes find my ironing board a bit high, but a table because you need the downward pressure. But you don't need lots of pressure. So I'll cut to there. And then if I move that up and keep that line now look, I've got, oh I didn't, well I joined it and you cut probably, I've got a perfectly straight line. Now if you, the time that that's taken me, if I had to cut a perfectly straight line with a pencil and a ruler and then a pair of scissors, you wouldn't get it as accurate as that. No. And that, that is the key. Uh, look, rotary cut, these are essentials, we talked about uh, having essentials, so has your mat, has your cutting mat maybe seen better days? Uh, would you maybe look to invest in a rotary cutter? You've not used one before. You never look back. Bit of practice. Uh, get used to the technique, but rotary cutter, you're getting the mat and you're also getting the ruler. They all work together, uh, and I would say an essential, especially if you're a soft crafter. Details are on your screen. You've got two flexi payments of £20. Now, just uh, for the benefit of any new viewers joining us, a flexi payment, what that allows you to do whenever you see a flexi payment here at Otranda, it's interest free. What you're doing is you're splitting the price in half. Uh, so you're paying £20 today, and then in four weeks' time, you're paying that remaining £20. 306-138, your item number. We're going to go back to our one-day special, uh, and it has been the real star of the show. So what you are getting here is, I think, for £50.93, or just going back to the one-day, uh, the flex payment, I should say, £25 and some change, so £25.47, and pence, you are revamping your craft room. So let's just think about this for a moment because I know as a crafter how quickly a space can come, uh, become consumed by all our crafty uh, investments, so all our crafty purchases. Think about how you're going to be using these in your craft room. So suddenly you have a brand new sewing box. This is our round craft box, but uh, it could be the perfect sewing box. And we saw Rebecca using hers. And we'll go through uh, all of Rebecca's options in a moment. But just having a look here. So you've got the tray. And Rebecca talked about the fact it is a sturdy tray. So that's important. It's not going to be flimsy. It is transparent as well, so you can see what you've got at the bottom. But as sewing box goes, fantastic. So there's our sewing box. It is padded, and it's got this beautiful uh, design to it as well. And that's, a, that's something that you're going to hear me mention a lot with regard to the One Day Special. The actual aesthetic look is very stylish. So there's our sewing box. We've also got, uh, now this could be your knitting needle case. It is designed as a knitting needle case, but it can be so much more. So you've got the long pocket in the front for all your your knitting needles and then you've got great space inside to put your yarn if you wish but let's just take a moment to appreciate the look and you can't feel it but it feels uh, very luxurious but that herringbone look it is so sophisticated and stylish so if you were to buy this unfortunately all the individual options have gone if you were to buy this individually it would cost you 17.99 uh, I think I am right in saying $17.99? $17.99. Forget that, because as part of the one-day special and the saving, and we will talk about the saving in a moment, it's £7.28. So that gives you an appreciation. When you look at everything here, if you were to just, I mean, really rudimentary, break it down, split the price in half, uh, or split the price across all the, uh, all the different options, you're paying £7.28 each. Uh, if we have a look, you've also got your trinket or your jewellery box. Just going to show that. So it's a beautiful wooden trinket box, charm box. So where would you be putting that? I love the, the lever latch that you've got on it and the fact that it is wood. Uh, wood. So you've got, uh, I think it just looks very elegant and look great in any room. Uh, you could use the part of the top if you wanted to use it as a pin cushion, you can. That, I think, and we talked about that sort of country, uh, if, if you wanted to go so something that looks uh, country chic, that would look great in, I think, a guest bedroom. Okay, so uh, should we have a look at the felt? We've got the felt over here as well. I will get back to the desk caddy, but I just wanted to show you. Speaking of sophisticated, now I know we're talking from a crafty perspective, but you've got the sturdy base. Do you know where I think this would be great? 
How about that in a living room if, does anyone else do this? Uh, so in our living room, we've got a, a box like this and we keep a blanket inside, so it ties up the blanket and then if you're a little bit chilly, you can pull the blanket out. So it's kind of one of those, or you could put magazines in there if you want. You're getting a lot of space in this storage. So there's your felt, uh, it's, it's described as, it's a craft bag, thank you. Uh, we've also got another felt uh, tote. This is your craft tote in there, wooden handles. Again, exactly the same as our craft bag in there. And that is just another, I think both these options could be home stylings, fantastic. I mean, we talk about their virtues in, as a crafter in your craft room, but just in the house, they look so sophisticated. So those are our options with regard to the felt. Now let's think about tidying up someone's desk. Do you know what you could be doing? This could be maybe your storage in your room your craft room, so we've got the sewing box here, we've also got the uh, case here. Then we could have this in your home, so living room, so we've come out of the craft room, this is now maybe in the living room, some space, this could be on a uh, table, this could be by, so magazines in here, or potpourri, uh, and in here there could be blankets, whatever you want, uh, remote controls in there as well. Then we're going, so we've went from craft room to living room, now we've got our uh, desks or offices, so if you know somebody who just needs to tidy up office equally this could be a jewelry box I bought it's my wife's birthday recently and I bought her a jewelry box and uh, I'd say it cost me the same price as the one day special just for the jewelry box so uh, just showing you here what you're getting I mean that is a jewelry box I think would be lovely so we can put uh, your ring boxes in there we could put maybe watches in here uh, and then uh, earrings or whatever you you're worried might uh, be hard to find in the tray good weight to it as well and you only appreciate that when you get it home so that's your desk tidy oh storage sorry and then you've got your caddy in here as well so that another great option for your craft room or a desk the only reason I was saying if you keep these together they do look great you don't have to keep them together but uh, just another really practical storage solution you have got uh, the little elastic if you want to put your embossing tools so in your craft room or if you wanted to put pens pencils in there good to have by the phone as well if you want to put a paper pad you know we're also sometimes you're always saying where's a piece of paper to write something down so there we go we've gone to our office and then finally we have got just having a look here this could be your craft room, your trinket box, or it could be guest bedroom, your bedroom. You've got that scope. All right, so I've gone through it, but I know, Rebecca, you've got all the different uh, storage and how you use it. So talk us through all the different options. How have you used it? Yeah, so I would use this box here, I think, yeah, I mean, it would look really good in a living room, but I'm thinking purely from a crafter's point of view. This I would use for probably storing wool. You could store fabric in it, but it's because it's got a very open top, it's a usable thing. It is for storage, but you can see everything inside it. So if you've got this on a shelving unit in your craft room or just in your living room, whatever mm -hmm. corner of the house you use, maybe one of those units that's got square box type shelves this is perfect for it because it's open you can see everything and it's great to work from it's also really good when you need a very quick tidy up because it's all very open you can just throw everything in and, and I know a lot of people say that's cheating tidying but that's my sort of tidying just do it very quickly and put it away it's much quicker than that that's really good to, but that's what I would use it for um, and then I love this bag because you can get so much in it if you look inside I have got um, six, eight different dress patterns, and I've got, I think, fat, I've got ten packs of fat, five fat quarters in there, and it's not full. But I would also use this as a handbag. I think it's really stylish. I like the way that it sits flat on the surface because of the this flap that comes round here and all the way around the bottom makes it stand flat. You know, and if you wanted just um, a bag, not maybe something that you'd have every day, but something a little bit special, and because it's neutral and it's great, it will go with an outfit, then it's perfect for that. But as a crafter, I would embellish it. It's very thick felt. I think it's a full five mil thick felt, but because it's felt, you can easily sew through it. So you could um, put someone's name on it, you could just put some flowers, you could embroider, you could machine sew, you could applique. But I, because of the, the natural colour felt look, then I would decorate it. I mean, when you talked about a bag, you wouldn't, because we, we talked about the fact with the saving, effectively each component is costing £7.28. So if you were to buy a bag, 
a felt bag of that quality on the high street, you pay a heck of a lot more oh, than Oh, yeah, you would pay 40 or £50, pounds yeah. because it is. it has got real wooden handles. It's got these lovely brass studs. It's very good quality. And, you know, and any crafter out there will know what I mean by a 4 mil felt. It's a really thick felt. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and that's very stylish, isn't yeah. it? And it's multi-use, isn't it? So in the daytime, you can keep all your craft things in, and then you're just popping out and thinking, oh, I'm just going to have that bag for the evening. So these are my two favourite things, to be honest. Okay, we like that. Let's keep on going. Let's keep going. So the sewing box, really love this. These, this is, um, just to give you an idea of the size, it's a 10-inch diameter top, and it's 6.5 inches high, which is a really good size for a sewing box. Usually they're a little bit smaller than this. So if you've got a lot of sewing equipment, or maybe you're like me and you do a lot of evening sewing. So I often sew in the day, but in the evening when I'm sitting by the TV, that's why I do my hand sewing, embroidery and that sort of thing. It would be really nice to have this in the middle of the table. At the moment, I've got a desk organiser in the, my, the middle of my coffee table in the lounge and it's full of scissors and odd knitting needles and things. It looks a bit of a mess. But this, because it's a nice piece of work, you know, you could keep it in your craft room, but equally it would look good in the living room it wouldn't look messy and you could keep all those pieces in it so you could have your whole sewing kit if you're um depends how much sewing you do you, you, i wouldn't fit the whole of my sewing kit in here because i've got boxes and boxes of it but this is good for your everyday stuff i have a box similar where i have needle scissors pins tape measures um small app pieces i've got taylor's chalk thimble that's what i'd keep in the top and it's easily accessible and then in the bottom you could keep even you know the project that you're doing at the moment i've got a tape measure and my embroidery hoop but it could be your current project could live in here with all the tools and equipment you need on top and then this is padded so this is ideal for putting pins or needles in and these little buttons you can use to slip a needle through it's got um, a loop here which you could use to slide you know, maybe some patterns or some fabric inside. The top's padded, the sides are padded, and then you've got these really nice, if I show you all the way around, you've got nice ribbon loop hinges. And then on the front, let's turn it all the way around, yeah. it's a magnetic clasp. So it does up really well, and it's got a covered button that's in the same fabric and the loop as the top. So it's it, just a nice piece of equipment. It looks good in being padded with that herringbone uh, design as well. Mm. It's functional, but it lo they all look so good. But it's been made for crafters. The company yeah. that makes these core bonds, they've been in operation over, over 60 years now. They sell a lot of haberdashery and clothes and care systems, but they've moved into storage, I mean, quite some time ago, But because they know what crafters want. This isn't just a nice thing, it's very functional. Yeah. So as a sewer and a crafter, I know that the reason that they've put all these things in, the reason they've made a clear tray on the top, it's they know what people want who craft mm -hmm. well you can imagine this being in a department store oh yes definitely yeah, yeah so it is. when you consider all the different components we've got a screen a picture rather on your screen you'll see uh, everything that you're getting with the one day special uh with as storage solution goes seven pieces but everything in there as crafters you are absolutely going to use so we've got the uh, round craft box that could be your sewing box you've also got the desk tidy the caddy you've got the large bag for you it could be a knitting bag but it could be so much more uh, and then you've got the two felt bags and on top of that the trinket box all of that for 25 pounds and 47 pence today as your first flexi payment or your 50 pounds 93 pence but you are saving a whopping 50 pounds but that is only for the one day special it is a 50 percent saving and when you consider that each one of those components so say this bag seven 28 you should be paying 17.99 so that gives you a real indication of the value okay we're going to move on speaking of value we have got some happy hours so as the name suggests uh, the price only around for this hour we have got a beautiful millwood wooden craft desk caddy now you've got four compartments here this could be i know we're talking about crafters so absolutely in your craft room but we discussed earlier on how about having this in the kitchen or in a desk or just if you wanted to put some jars in there with some flowers then suddenly we're turning it into a beautiful piece of home decor as well it's got such a rustic feel with that beautiful wood as well and I love there's something about a wood grain when you see it and when you feel it you touch it and also it's gonna sound weird but the smell of wood as well it's uh, it's just a lovely bit you know it's got that feel to it right Odd thing to say, but you'll get it. So uh, 10.49 is ridiculous. 
when you consider the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship that you are getting here. It is wood, it's practical, you're going to use it, and I think that is a phenomenal price, but only for uh, this hour. You should, and I think we'll all agree, you should be paying around about $24.99 for something of this quality. 526-291, your item number. We got more. Uh, this is another storage box for you. So you've got the fantastic, well, you've got the uh, twin lever lid. You've also got the tray inside. Oh, I've locked it. There we go. And actually, that was a point I was trying to make earlier on because you have got here that little locking latch, which means that it won't come out. I didn't uh, do the one there, but you can just see that locking latch. And uh, let me just flick that back. And then inside, because it has got that lip, that the, uh, the tray sits on. You can just see the lip there. You've got all the space inside the cavity too. So it looks good. Just all the same points I mentioned with the caddy. The fact that it is wood gives it that, that quality, makes it feel like it's something special. Rebecca talks about the fact that uh, you could then go on to paint if you wanted. I mean, it looks great in its raw form. Uh, or you can decoupage, you can stamp, you can use your stencils. So we can really make this our own as well. It, there, well, actually, let's think about this 1899 now if this was a kit or a project that um, a guest or a company brought to us for something like this a completed piece you'd have to obviously construct it you'd be paying a heck of a lot more than 1899 and then we could do all the same techniques so uh, if you're a fan of leone think about uh, doing all those techniques that you see on let leone loose or lou or joe or catherine or all the fantastic guests here i chan to share with you that is a way to truly personalize. For $18.99, yes, please. And it's wood as well. It's uh, uh, having that solid wood uh, base too, or frame. Uh, 794-084, your item number. As we move on, yeah, the mini iron. Okay, so I've got a little story with the mini iron. And I hope we have the same price. $9.99. That is actually better that is a, an amazing price. I'm going to tell you a very, very quick story. So Haley, I craft self silly Haley. We did a show, and she was desperate to get hold of this. Now, there's a lot of features I'll talk to you about in a moment. Uh, we actually sold out, and she was uh, she was so disappointed. But what she did, she bought it at the full price of uh, 1999 because she liked it that much. Uh, so what you're seeing here, now there are uh, a few features. So when we fold it down, You'll notice here, it folds flat, so if I just show you there, it just had a little button you push in, but do you see the cord? Now most irons, typically, if they're going to fail or break, it will be here because the cord's getting bent out. But you've got that space that, uh, for the cord to sit into, and it's also reinforced. It is a dry iron, I need to stress that, but the thing that Haley was uh, so impressed with is the amount of heat that it kicked out for a, a small iron. Have you ever been to a, um, let's say a hotel, and used a small little iron? And you know, yeah, trying to, I've, I've done this before on, on doing jobs. So I've had a shirt I've needed to iron. You spend hours trying to iron it and can't get the creases out. The amount of heat this kicks out is incredible. For $9.99, that is a phenomenal buy. Uh, it is an adjustable temperature control, which you can see there. Actually, if I just put that there, so adjustable control, and it also has a Teflon nonstick plate to it as well. Uh, and there is also safety protection built in. It is a great iron. Now, I've seen this iron before. We've had it on uh, for $11.99, and it was a freedom price. So for $9.99, it is a great price. Have you used this iron before? I Becca? have, no. It's really good. And I'm thinking if, you know, I was saying about going to workshops and buying the, the cutting mat with the... Um, Yes. With uh, <laughs> the so cutting, the four in one cutting surface, mat. Yeah, the multi-surface. Yeah, having a small iron like that is perfect. So you could put it by your sewing machine and then you can just be pressing oh. and ironing. And it's really useful for just little things where you don't want to get out your whole big steam iron. And well, there's a lot of fabrics as well that you shouldn't really use with steam. And, you know, and sometimes, particularly if you're pressing fabrics on the bias, never use steam because it can stretch it out of shape. So having a dry iron is really useful for small, delicate and quick uses. Iron's busy. 
the multi-surface uh, is also very busy as well. Now, uh, that's at the bottom of your screen. You hit the nail on the head, <laughs> Rebecca. I'm so glad you said it. So we talked about the fact that a class is not having to wait. And I know we're not doing classes at the moment. but Or if you're maybe uh, crafting in the, in the living room, dining room, so you're not in your craft room. So imagine this. You've got your ironing board, so your multi-surface, which I'll talk about in more depth in a moment. But then you've got your little iron, because this is not like getting out your full iron and your ironing board, but it's the heat that you are getting from it. It is a dry iron, but it really does. And that's something that I know impressed Haley was the heat that you get from the iron. Yeah, Rebecca. and you don't always, it, it's fine that it's a dry iron because that's quite useful for m many purposes. And when you're just doing s little seams like that and just small things or portable, that's perfect because then it doesn't drip. It's, yeah. It's perfect for a travel iron as well. It is a very good iron, and you know that I would never stand here in front of you and say something that strongly unless I 100% believed it. For me, I always pay attention when any of the team buy something. When you have a guest, and we all know Hayley, uh, so Hayley Smith, Craft Self Silly. When you have a, best, a guest buying an iron and she actually paid full price for it, and was happy to do so. She liked the iron that much. You know you've got something good. But for 9.99, uh, it is I think the lowest price I've seen this iron for. We've had it in the past. Freedom price 11.99 great time to get hold of it. 417 259 your item number. We were just talking about the multi-surface mat. So think about just freeing up some space in your craft room. It, you could have this like, like a book on a shelf or just lay it flat. It opens up so you've got, this is why this is so good. Firstly, you've got the whole space here, so an A3 ironing surface. So if you're looking to press, let's say you're cutting and pressing on the go, uh, that could be on the desk beside you. And when we talk about cutting, you have the cutting mat inside. So you're gonna be using this as a soft crafter, as a quilter, uh, doing your blocks. You're gonna be cutting your blocks, measuring your box of blocks. You're also gonna be ironing and pressing your seams. You can then, once you've cut out your blocks, you can use this to lay out your different designs or your applique just to lay it out and see if it works and you've got the non-slip uh, surface in there as well all four surfaces in one for $16.99 and it plays very nicely with the iron too uh, we are uh, getting beaten by time Rebecca I know you're on a 12 what yeah, are we yeah. going to be looking at 12 going back seeing other options with yeah, the one day special yeah we've got some more special deals for you as well so. oh. Lots more, more special Not deals? More, more, lots more to look at. We <laughs> have, Rebecca's quite mm. right, we have got uh, more. more special deals and happy hours. So if you want to tune in, there'll be different happy hours uh, to this hour. Don't miss out on the iron. Uh, it is proving to be very popular. I know how good that iron is. Just going to jump on the website very quickly and show you uh, everything on there. So we've got some pin cushions for you, beautiful pin cushions, $9.99, different options. So have a look and see if any of the options tickle your fancy. We've got threads, we've got skeins on there, we've got fat quarters, everything that you need. And the real star of the show has been Rebecca, of course, and also the one day special. Uh, busy for our one day special. What I would say, uh, the real story behind this is the quality that you're getting, how aesthetically good all this storage is. It's so good, it does not have to be just for your craft room. You're gonna be using all this storage throughout the home, but if you just wanted to revamp your craft room, imagine how good it would look with all this storage. Everything about this uh, one day special though is quality, quality, quality. Rebecca, can I say a huge thank you though? Oh, thank you, I've really enjoyed it. I love talking about storage. Good. Well, we're going to be doing it again at 12. I really hope you can join me. Don't go anywhere, though, because we've got plenty more coming up here at Hochanda. So, Pent Art with Julia. She is here. It's going to be a fun one. She can be joined by a lovely Paula. After that, the quilt room will return uh, with the lovely Natasha. And then we have the happy planner. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop.
Chanda News. We are excited to announce that our broadcast hours on Freeview have been extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you were missing our live shows in the evening and we can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind, so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilt and cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Good morning. We have got pent hard. We have got amazing products and mixing mediums for your mixed media, for your painting. But we also have got Julia Watts here in the building. Hello. Hello. How are you? All right, thank you. Now we have got a full hour of uh, different, you're, you're going to experiment with these products, aren't mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do lots of techniques. And so be fast and furious. Probably. You were mentioning, and we, well, we're excited about that. But you were talking about Pentart being a company with chemistry background, mm. and they know what products to do and how mm. they mix up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's founded by a chemist um, who used to be in the uh, fabric uh, industry uh, like 30 years ago. Um, and it's a family-run business over in Budapest in Hungary, so the, I think there's a delayed delivery on, on everything. Uh, but yeah, and they, they really know what they're doing, you know, and, and sometimes we'll, I'll say, well, can I mix this with this? And they'll say, well, no, 
because that's not the chemistry, you know, yeah. kind of thing. So they do know what they're doing. It's top quality products. And you'll see uh, Pentart products on um, some of the Clarity shows and you see Indeed. them on the Le Blanc shows and Leone has them too. So you, you know that they're good quality products. Now, of course, that reference that uh, Julia did of the extended delivery, they will be dispatched from the 23rd of July, of course. And now you can shop ahead on the website and see exactly what we have got uh, in the in the website we have got every single item there on the website but also Julia is going to demonstrate every single bundle here uh, and then we are going to have a demo and then of course we are going to show you the product itself so the first show the first product that we are going to have a look is the transfer pens now the transfer pens now what do you get is two of those, of those uh, transfer pens and of course Julia was explaining that um, has got a bullet in here so you can very nicely you can of course write with it but you can transfer well you cannot write because of course it's a transfer pen mm -hmm. so of course you can transfer whatever you have printed on a laser uh, printed yes. into paper and what other mediums can we you use? Can, you can put them onto fabric um, you need to uh, press them to um, be, able, be able to wash your, your fabric but as always with Pentart there's extensive uh, library of videos so um, if, if whatever I do for you doesn't come across properly you can go and search them on YouTube and you can watch the Pentart ones Perfect. Now, ten pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price for two uh, three zero one seven four six is the item number. Now, you want to see them in action, so take it away, Julia. Okay. So. Um uh, yes, a laser printed image. Uh, I've just got a few left over from when we've had the solution. So basically, what's in the pen is is um, what it was in the little pot of solution when we bought the transfer um, solution before. So this is reverse. They must be reverse images, else when you actually transfer them, uh, they're not going to be uh, the right way around. So it's a mirror image. And um, I would suggest that you actually cut your paper. It's just copy paper, though it's on bigger than you need it um, it tends to work better because if you cut it really close then um, you'll find that as the transfer solution goes into the paper it kind of warps a little bit and you might get a distorted image so cut it bigger than you need and what this means is that you can be very precise where you put it there's a chisel tip to it and you just trans sorry about the squeakiness you just transfer the solution and you can see that the image starts i would only do a couple of letters at a time personally why, why would you do that uh because you don't want it to dry too quickly ah, of course yeah of course. And, and you can only use that laser image once. Once you've used it, even if there's ink left on, you can't use it again. Okay. Um, so know. yeah, cut, so you can see kitchen is, is starting to be revealed here. And I'm I'm just using a you know it's a good excuse to eat ice cream or lollies, isn't it really? Yeah. So uh, I'm just using a lolly stick. I have in the past because I didn't have a lolly stick. Uh, I have used uh, an embossing tool as well, but the, the lolly stick is bigger, so it's a lot easier. So we just did the last couple of letters now. You can see it's quite quick. You can obviously do images. You can add the um, transfer um, uh, words. You could add them to canvases. Um, so it, it, they're, they're effectively like you're making your own rub-on. Uh, you know, rub-ons used to be really popular years yeah. ago. So now you can design your own. Exactly. Then print them with a laser. Yeah. Or you can for So if you don't have a, a, a laser printer, uh, think about printing on... Oh, look! That's amazing. It's like magic, isn't it? Now, I was thinking that if... So, so for instance, if you don't... Like, I don't have a laser printer, but I have got an inject. So I would design, print it out, and then take it to a photocopier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it has to be in reverse. Obviously, with a lot of pictures, if you're doing like a landscape or a town or something like that, that wouldn't matter so much. But if you're doing any words, make sure they're reversed, they're yeah. mirrored. Yeah. And could you do that onto vellum? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Yeah, absolutely. Because I would think that would look amazing on yeah. vellum. Yeah. So then, of course, sometimes the stamping onto vellum is a little bit dodgy, mm, yeah. challenging. Yeah. So yeah. That, I'm, I'm thinking that Simple would be. Simple as that. 
That is amazing. Thank you for Sayona. Now, if you want yours, uh, your item number is 301746. And that, of course, includes both of them. It's not just that we are, you know, you are going to get both of them for £10 and 99 pence. Next, we have got a tacky glue pens and the gilding glyphs. Uh, gilding glyphs. <laughs> gilding leaves. <laughs> uh, yeah, created in my new world. Metal flakes in here. I love these ones because they have got that copper, the warmth of it, but also the coolness of the silver tones in there as well. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, uh, again, Julia, you were talking about the, the tacky um, glue having a bullet point and a chisel. Yes. So you just turn it over and whichever end you want, you just put it, insert it in, and of course you will have that kind of chisel, maybe for brush scripts and then the bullet one. And that will give you, of course, that tackiness that you require for the gilding, uh, gilding flex. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. So you can write, you can use it with the stencils. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, beautiful. Now, if you want yours, uh, 061967 is your item number. Remember, you are getting the flex and two of the pens. And of course, you are getting them for 13 pounds and 97 pence with having a saving of three pens. Of course, Julia, how we use it okay so um just very simply like in the sample um i've i've used a, a white pen and i've just uh, drew, drawn through a stencil it's one of the easiest ways to create a design when you can't draw like i can't and then I, as you say there there's there's your um um bullet tip and you will be pumping and when you get it, you'll pump it until it becomes blue, until the um, uh, the solution comes down. And if you want to change it, you can just take it out and, and pop, you know, change it. Okay. You can get replacement tips as well. Um, I don't think we have them on, on a chandra at the moment, but um, I'm sure that we could get them. So all. all all you need to do is, is if you want to actually do a stencil design, I mean, you can do intricate stencil designs, um, however you want, but you can just mm -hmm. colour in and it, it goes on blue. It's like the hobby glue, but it's in a, um, a, a pen form. Uh, you can use your um, ruler, so we could, we could swap it over to the chisel tip. It's a bit sticky, no, not surprisingly. Yeah. Pop it over to the chisel tip yeah. and we can uh, do ourselves some um, nice broad lines. Let's get this going. There's a broad line. And we can swap it over to the other point of the chisel tip and we can have a thinner line going on. Let's see if that's coming out. Oh. So that's a very fine line, yeah. that one. Okay. We can also uh, do a little bit of writing. We'll use this one. So we can have power. Yeah. Oh, and that. you can also do your little dots and things. So you could do a little bit of snow oh. if you wanted to around the place. But obviously that's got a... It goes on blue and you can, it does dry very quickly depending on how much you're using. So that is actually clear now. So we can actually put yeah. something on top. So we'll add, add the flakes. I'll probably get end up with um, flaked fingers because my fingers are a bit sticky now. But that's all right. Um, forgot some cop copy of paper. I knew I'd forget something. And you get the mixed leaf. So this is um, a mix of copper and silver leaf that you get. Hopefully the aircon won't, okay. won't send it all over the place. And I've just got a piece of um, rub it, scrub it here. Um, or you could use just a sponge, you can use your fingers, um, whatever you want to use really, you can just to create that. some friction. It's like magic isn't it? And you can yeah. use the tacky glue with the, um, if you've got um, some of the Pentart, um, uh, what's it called, uh, velvet powder that yeah, I bought on my first them. Pentart show. Um, let's get rid of that there. Just scrub off this. So, so keep on going, going, just like you would if you were stamping. Yeah, you can use it with the um, velvet powder. You can use it with glitter. Any fine powder, really. You could probably use it with the uh, 3D powder that's in the rust kit as well. But let's give that a flick now. 
there we go so you can see we've got the little dots we've got our stencil work we've got fine line we've got a thicker line and we've got the writing as well so that's, that's just a few so things you can cool. do obviously you're having a pen rather than just a solution uh, or just a, a glue separate means that you can be more detailed and more specific where you want it that's amazing. I, I, one of the things I'm also thinking is that chisel tip uh, for to do the edges, like yeah, you know, to do around just the edge of your so card. Much layering. Yeah. See, normally what we would do if we wanted to uh, have a mat that, that's flaked, yeah. we'd get some uh, double-sided tape, if wouldn't you did, we? Yeah. But that means a thicker line. This is a thinner line, so you're using less product. You're not wasting as much product and, around and the it's edge. It's quicker because you don't yes. have to lift it, but also it means that you don't you you will have it completely flat. Yes. You don't have that ridge that no. the double-sided tape will no. give you, which is yeah. fine if you yeah. want that, but of course not having it um, has got the abilities. I love also, I have to say, I absolutely adore this combination of the metal flakes because having the warmth of the copper and having a beautiful hint of the coolness from the silver makes it a perfect mix that kind of, you know, it's also very autumnal, I think. It's this kind of the cool, you look at that, gorgeous. And look at the luster and shininess of that metal leaf. Now, if you want to go for this bundle, you are getting, of course, two pens and the 100 mil pot of the mixed metal leaf of the, the copper and of that gorgeous silver, 13 pounds and 97 pence. That's the thing, that one thing like that, one pot like that, it was going to last you for such a long time. Now, this is a kid that I'm really, really kind of as soon as I say, like, yes, this is such a cool one because it's a patina effect set. Now, sometimes when you want to create a patina effect, you think, well, I need um, sort of, I need two tones of aqua, I need a kind of a cream color, I need so have a metallic, which ones do I go for, which zones will work. Now, Pentar has created the perfect hit for you. So you are getting five of these 20 mil pots, but the colors have been specifically designed to create the perfect patina uh, effect. So 9.99 is all you're paying if you're a Freedom member. If you are, you just need to add the P&P on top of that. But you can see in here, I'm gonna uh, hide in away the next item uh, because this is the rust in behind it. But I just wanted you to focus on those beautiful tones that you are getting in here. Those beautiful aquas and teals with the highlights using that cream color that you are getting or a stone. So you can see that. Now, of course, you are getting all five of them. Then you can, if they are acrylic paints, so you can use them for other things that you may have as well. But look at that price, $9.99. If you always wanted to have that patina effect and you're kind of thinking, well, I'm not sure it's the right color, the right, this is a set for you. 655695 is your item number. And of course, having the five parts also with the fine nozzle means that you have got a lot of control. There's a lot of different techniques you can do with that fine nozzle. And also another thing that I like is that if you like to have a big blob, you can take the fine nozzle in and then you could, of course, dab it in like that. And look at the gold. Look, if I put it like this, you can see you can see the shininess of the metallic, the luster that it has got. Is that a proper old gold, you know, that kind of, um, you know, metallic. But $9.99 is a f an amazing affordable price to have a go with the acrylic paints in there. Right, uh, are you ready, I Julia, ready. to show us yes, the patina? I'm ready, yes, Good. absolutely. Right, yes, so as Paola said quite rightly, there are uh, five pots and they are, um, all matte except for the copper which is obviously a metallic finish um, so i've just got something that i did a few shows ago and it's it's, it's just got some texture on it so we're just going to add the patina on top of here now uh, on the pentart videos they lay a layer of the copper down first and then add the other layers on top i do mine slightly differently but it doesn't really matter because nothing's wrong you work it how you want it to be Okay. So I've just put some of the paint out here and of course there's nothing in these paints that uh, make it textured or, or, or interfere with it w at all. So if you want to you can use them as individual matte and a metallic paint. You can use them for any project. They, they work together as a patina effect but you can use them individually yeah. if you want to. And they're a 20 mil, mil size, so they're a really nice size. So I'm just going, I go with the darker one first. I'm just going to highlight this area here. And 
So have you what have you painted the black with? Is this a, or a it's just a, it's just the pent up black acrylic paint which and, we've and, had on a number of the times. And is this structure is that embellishments? Or no? It's this is the light modelling paste oh, modeling and it's also paste. got some three D balls in there as well. So with the black gesso, so just going to have a light uh, covering there of that one. And uh, all of the Pentart paints do dry pretty quickly, actually. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a blast because I don't. I want to have a, a really good uh, base to this. Let's go faster. I've only just got this heat tool, and I'm not sure with the fast and the, you know, automatically the fast and the low. Okay, that'll do. And then we're going to go with the next one. And we're going to add certain areas of this. So, so I'm quite quick. I find if I don't think about it, then it ends up looking better than if I think about it and be contrived about it. Yeah. Then we're going to go for the next one, which I conceive as being the next one. And we're going to add a little bit of that. So it looks like nothing really just yet. But we don't have to panic at all because we can always fix it. If you don't like what you've got, then you can just go back to the darker colour again and start again. So this is like a, um, a, almost like a khaki green, this one. And I think they've got names on them, actually. Let's find out what that one's called. It's called Country Green. So they're all part of the matte range that there is, uh, that uh, they do at Pentart. So there's my light one. So in that in itself, I think it looks lovely. It's not necessarily patina effect, but you know, in my mind, I don't actually know what patina looks like. So I've looked it up a few times, but then forgotten, because I've got a memory like a sieve. But it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to go in again, back with this dark one here, ah, okay. just to um, dull down some of the really prominent bits and make it all blend. Could you use this paint as just acrylic paint? Yeah, paints? just acrylic paints. Yeah, absolutely. As I said earlier, you know, there's nothing in them that uh, gives the texture. There's no sand in them. There's no... Um, they're just an, yeah. an acrylic paint, and they put them together because together they work as, as a patina look. And then what I, I like to do is take a dry brush. I'll take this one and a little bit of the, the copper. And when you dry brush, you want to make sure that this is 100% dry and you want to take most of the colour off. I know it seems like a waste, but you could do it on something else. And then you just pick up the highlights. That's why it's nice to do it on a textured surface rather than um, just a flat surface. The rust is a little bit different and we'll come to the rust yeah. in a moment. Love, but can you see, hopefully yeah. you can see, as I'm, pick, as I'm going over with the, the copper, it's just picking up that surface. Now, obviously, we're, we're looking at just a section of it, but if I just kind of flash oh, that to you... I can you. see the... the I, I call it cold gold, but like you said, it's actually antique it's, copper. It's a copper, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's so it, it, it's just gorgeous. The uh, overall effect is however you want it to look. Yeah. And you don't have to do all four colours of the, of the, of the, the, the tealy colours if you don't want to. You can do just three, you can just do two. You don't have to use the dark one if you don't want to. You don't have to go over with the copper. It's, it's entirely up to you. It's just the suggestion of the, the, the thing that's there. The sample that I've got there is over the structure paste that's on the show. Okay, perfect. So we uh, will talk about that in a second. Now, of course, if you want to go for the uh, patina effect, that is what allows you to create that amazing background in there. That kind of the, the, the colors of it, uh, stunning colors in there. On nine ninety nine, all five of them. Six five five six nine five is your item number. Now, what I was covering up is the rust effect, and of course, the rust effect is what we have got next for you. It's a set of five acrylic paint. Well, no, actually, it's four acrylic paint. So you are getting, of course, the matte paints, but then you are getting the 
3D powder. Now, the 3D powder, I believe, is, is to give the texture, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Now, of course, our Julia is going to show us exactly how to use them, but just to let you know, it's acrylic paint and, of course, those beautiful four colors, which, of course, they have got the ability to create that rust effect uh, and, of course, that powder. And look at that. Amazing how it looks. 9.99 is such a, an amazing price for, f uh, for these products. And, of course, you this is out of MDF. It's not metal. It's not a rusting powder as that you have to put vinegar or anything like that but it is of course there did you have a 805-673 is your item number now Julia can you show us how it works I can I'm just putting out my paint I like to I like to put my paints out mm -hmm. so I can I can kind of control I, it well not necessarily control it but it kind of helps me think because I can see them I can you know you can ah, see them right. in the pot but I can see them all and um, you know I always put more of the darker one out because the actual kind of effect is is the same kind of techniques as with the patina um, and um, if you watch the pentart video the 3d powder what they te what they do is they just put it in in one of them they just put it in the whatever they put on the top I don't do that um, I, I like more texture in mine yep. and sometimes you've got to be careful because the, the little um, thing bungs up but it is an ultra fine powder and I like to put it in all of my paints again because these are um, matte acrylic paints, uh -huh. you can use them separately however you want to. You know, you don't have to use them with this kit. You can mix this 3D powder in with your texture paste. You can put it in with your um, gesso primer paste. You can put it in with whatever you want to. These are all individual work alone products, but together they will give you a rust effect. Okay. I'm also going to dip into the uh, metallic paint set and I'm going to put a tiny bit, because I like to, of the antique gold on my mat as well. Um, it's, be it's personal choice, yeah, you don't yeah. have to, it doesn't add to the yeah. rust but I like it when I'm getting texture. So I'm going to actually use a uh, stencil brush instead of a paintbrush because then I can get a stippled effect over. So I'm going to go, just like with the patina, I've just got a, this is just a grey board heart. I'm going to go all the way over the surface and hopefully, as you can, the camera's picking up that I've got a little bit of um, texture going on in there already from the 3D powder. They're like mini, 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 mini balls. There's different sizes yeah. of 3D balls that uh, Pentart do. And these are the mini-me's, if you like. <laughs> yeah, they are. All the movies are available. Yeah. Um, I am going to give this first coat, again, a blast. But like I say, all of Pentart's um, paints are very quick drying. Oh. So you see that's dry already. And then just bef like before, with the patina, I'm going to go for the next, what I consider to be the next colour. And just going to add a little bit of that on. And then clean your brush in between if you can. Any tips on what sort of brushes, uh, sort of softness, flat brushes? The, I, I prefer, um, with, with this, I prefer stencil brushes. Stencil okay. brushes can take a little bit more um, mistreatment. Okay. Because yeah. you've got the, um, the powder in there, you're, you're going to potentially damage some of your flat brushes because it's it's got texture in there and they and it will go up in in between the bristles and so so i would avoid your flat brushes um so again we've got the three colors going on there don't panic because we're going to do exactly the same as before we're going to dry it before this final stage and you will find sometimes you find as you dry it um you might find that you get a little bit of bubbling with the paint not always didn't there of course um but sometimes you get a little bit of bubbling and that just adds to the texture you can add more of the 3d powder if you want to so i'm just going to add again the darker color over the top just to knock it back a little bit and then that like essentially that. is your rust yeah so just dry that 
And then what I like to do, as I can say, a bit like with the patina, I like to bring in my flat brush, find a flat brush that's dry, that one. And I, I like to, this is the, the, the antique gold, I think, yeah. and we dry brush that. Get another piece of kitchen roll. Again, take most of it off, and because we've got that, te this will hi highlight the texture for me. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. And for nine ninety nine, you know, each of the sets, the patina and then the rust, it's just for for under tw uh, twenty pounds. You get in all t all twenty, uh, all ten of the products, so it kind of makes. I mean, obviously, like I say, I've added the gold on there, but I think that that kind of really I like sets it off. That. I love that. And how quick and easy was it? It is really, really easy. The, th the, 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 the dangerous thing is to overthink it and to um, think, oh, well, this, has got, this, this particular brush stroke's got to go here. Mm. This has got to go. Just, just go with it. And, and they'll never be the same twice, you but, know. Yeah, of course. But, but they all look... Amazing. like they're supposed to. Now could you mix that 3D powder? Say for instance if you have got a texture paste that it was very smooth and you want to rough it up, yeah, 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 can yeah. you use it? Yeah absolutely. Um, I mean it's a very very fine powder so depending on your texture paste it if you've not. got if you've got um, say like heavy body gel yeah. so the glossy heavy body gel that would work really well with that. Nice. Um, I, I would go probably with uh, perhaps the bigger 3D balls for um, the structure paste that's on the show because yeah. it gets lost in, in, in yeah. the fact that it's that type of paste but definitely in the in the glossy heavy body gel it would work. That yeah. would be amazing. Thank you so much for that Julia. Now if you want yours, uh, Pentard Ross Effect Paint Set 8056767637 is your item number. It's the busiest item Item. Everybody, a quarter of the, the stock has already gone. 9.99. I cannot believe how low these prices are because they give you that versatility, and of course, they give you the ability to create something like a gorgeous like that. And I just, you know what? I would put both of them in my basket: the, the patina, uh, patina, and of course, uh, the acrylic paint, the rust one. Now, of course, then we are moving on to the metallic set. Now, here you are getting six beautiful metallic pots in there and I'm going to show you the uh, chart that our Julia has created so you can see exactly beautiful. Now individually they are £2.50 now of course if you get the set it's for £12 so it works out at £2 each. I love the fact that again uh, you have got a fine nozzle, a really fine nozzle, so you can ride it. If you are a fan of the jelly plate or gel press, uh, this will be phenomenal for it. Uh, also, the fact that you can look at that, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing that it keeps that shape and the gloss? Look at the antique gold, look at the baroque gold, look at the sparkling gold. The teal is, of course, um, a lot is favorite, my producer. And the turquoise, actually, she's more, uh, more of the turquoise than a uh, teal, a sparkling uh, green. I thought that uh, Jimmy, our director, was more of a sparkling green himself, but, uh, you know. Uh, there you have it. And you have got. <laughs> Look at that, how you the stencils. And then over. Uh, the, the the, of course, our texture paste. Now, 12 pounds, over 12 pounds, um, you are getting all six of them. Look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. I love how the colors, the metallics, and of course, you have got all, t all six of them. Uh, 158744 is your item number, and you are saving three pounds. And our sparkling director uh, is eager to see what you can create with. Uh, and as, as we are all. So, of course, can we see it in action, this amazing set? Julia? Yes, we can. We're going to uh, team it up with the ice crystal um, from the Next Book One bundle. Um, because obviously, I can just paint, um, but it's a little bit boring watching me just paint. Um, so, it's, it's nice to have different things to do with them. So the ice crystal comes with snow crystal and um, obviously they're texture paste so we, we use the snow crystal um, in, in a little while. Um, so I've got, a, this is just an all and create stencil I've got here, this one's called Abundance. Oh it's gorgeous. 
It is, I, I love all and create mm. uh, stencils, they're just lovely. So what we can do is we can mix it with it, but what we're going to do first of all is do it a different way. <gasps> well, so we do have got the ice crystal on the show, of course the details are on the screen for that. And £11.98 and is the price, 787741 is the number. This is quite an unusual paste in that it has a clear suspension. Uh -huh. uh, most pastes, in my experience, uh, that are like this have got um, um, like a white suspension that dries clear. So, so, so that's quite nice for us, especially as I'm showing you this, um, because we'll, we'll, we'll see effectively what it should look like when it's dry. It's a little bit glossier when it's dry. So there, there's our paste. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is just grab a few of the um, um, paints. I've got sparkling green here. So I'm just going to add a little bit. See, this is where the nozzles are brilliant. A little bit there. In fact, we'll have a little bit so there as well. So you haven't waited until it is dry? No, 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 you shouldn't. Okay. No, no, you don't wait until it's dry. You, it's a different technique completely <gasps> if you wait until it's dry. Um, we'll add some of the teal. This one's my favourite. I love this metallic teal. It's just beautiful. And we'll grab, uh, let's grab a, a gold. We're going to go for it here. And we'll grab a little bit of gold and we'll put oh, a little bit of gold look there. At the gold. This is the Baroque gold, which is a lighter gold than the antique gold. So, they're going to merge. And that will work really well with your gel plate or gel press. So, yes. so the nozzle is so fine. So they're, they're merged, but we, when we take this away... <gasps> that hang on a sec, because it's a very fine stencil. Love that! So obviously I would normally kind of do a Leone and clean that up, but obviously with time we're not going to. So, so it, obviously it's wet still, but you, hopefully you can see yeah. the metallic colours coming through. And the glitter as well. That and the glitter brilliant. as well. It's a really nice background to do. That is beautiful. You can see the paints play beautifully mm. with that. Now we can, of course, if I may, yeah. Uh, just grab the. Um, in fact, let's do it with. The, we'll do it with the pearl. We we'll do okay. it with the next set. Okay. All right. So yeah. I'll give the details for the acrylic paint. Uh, try me set. Now this is a try me set because you are getting 20 ml in it, but two, 12 pounds for all six of them. It works out at two pounds per pot. Now, of course, having that fine nozzle means that you will have that ability to write with it to make a squeak, squeaky lines that you know have got that dimension and that beautiful luster. Once they dry, they dry. Of course permanent because they are acrylic paint means that you can use them with your uh, maybe jelly plate and so much more now you and your set 158744 now we have got another option for a pack of six now this is a pearled option now again they are 12 pounds but look at that on so white look at the sheen look at the luster of that pearl look onto black this is onto black card this is onto white so you can see the difference it has got almost I mean it's not iridescent but it does have because of the nature of translucent nature of there they have got a kind of a change of color if I ch do it like this you can see side by side the colors in them and then of course you can write so if you have a thicker coat they are opaque and look at that you are getting apricot silver rose yellow white and I believe the last color is We'll say blue, baby blue. And then, of course, you can use them again with the same technique that Judy was showing, but of course, over uh, a structure paste in here and look and see the beautiful softness of the color coming through. So, if you want to go for your set, remember that you are paying just 12 pounds for all six of them, which means that you are just paying two pounds each. Uh, now, we're saving three pounds, and your item number is 252084. Let's see them in action. Julia okay so um, I've got another stencil here this is Stamperia stencil um, popped on again to, on to, it's, I know my watercolor cards not big enough but it doesn't really matter um, and I'm just going to take this is the snow crystal paste which is entirely different to the uh, other one yeah. um, this one is um, like a, a white suspension but you'll hear as I put it on that it's um, totally different it sounds totally different as it goes through now, it's 
with these ones, having the fine nozzle, could you do droppings, uh, like dro like drippings? <laughs> Sorry, like dripping techniques. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Could Absolutely, press quite a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It they're called try me sizes, but there's like twenty mil in each one, and they are highly pigmented. Obviously, uh, when we get to some of the other things you need to be, uh, that are on the show, oh. you need to kind of think about what you put, what, how you mix it, because it will take the pearlescence away. Um, but hopefully you can hear that that's really gritty. I think that this has got um, some of the 3D balls in it as well as glitter, oh. um, because um, sometimes you can see a slightly different colour coming out. Yeah. I might not cover this stencil. Do you know how many years I've been using texture paste and I still am absolutely rubbish at guessing how much I need? Well, I think, <laughs> I, 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 I think that it's always the case, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it like, is always know. the case. Sometimes you don't, you don't want to overdo it because yeah. you don't want to waste any and then, and then and other times you don't actually mix a lot. It also depends on the actual paste because this isn't uh, as fluid as the, um, the other one, uh, the ice crystal. Um, because it, 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 I think because it catches a little bit, yeah. um, you need a little bit more than you do of the of the um, ice crystal. So this is the silver. So I've mixed in the blue pearl paint. I've got the uh, pink pearl paint, and I've got the silver pearl paint. And we'll see how this looks in a moment. Remember, it's a background, so we don't have to do the whole stencil anyway. There's my excuse. Yeah. And I have got some um, removable adhesive on the back of this because this is a, a very, very fine one. There we go. Oh, look at that. Love that. So, so we will actually ki keep that pearlescent finish because this is, it's not a chalky. Um, oh, look at that. It's not a chalky texture paste. Yeah. Uh, so we will keep that pearlescence, but I mean, I don't mind where I've only picked up little bits. It just makes it look a little bit more antique -y. Obviously, if you weren't happy with that, there's nothing stopping you once it's dry, going over with the paint completely, because it's, it's just a raised texture, yeah. so you can put whatever you want to on top. Uh, but it's just a fun way to use the paint rather than just use them as paint. Yeah, absolutely that is amazing now of course if you want to go for the pearl selection here the try me set 12 pounds is the price and remember the beautiful luster that you are getting and of course you can see there that kind of the light hits it and becomes well you can create your per own pearl lesson oh no that's the other one sorry apologies for that this one is there are, i don't do a good job there it is uh now of course those ones are the pearls uh, your item number is 252084 and of course you're saving 12 pounds and then we are going to ice crystal and a snow crystal now we have seen them in action already by our julia and i have to say as soon as i saw this i i fell in love because look at that the snow crystal has got that sometimes a uh, glitter paste to me they are a little bit too sparkly you, you know what i mean uh, these ones have got just the amount right amount of a sparkle you can have the right amount of glamour 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 uh without having to be too too much too brassy if you know but look at the beautiful texture of that that's like a snow it may sound almost like fabric it does have that texture but it does kind of also add that sort of it's not sand, it's not glitter, it's just that sort of perfect mix. I want to show you again this sample here. Look at that beautiful combination of both of them. Bringing your acrylic paints to kind of changing the colors as well, like Julia was showing. <gasps> love that, love of that. This is amazing. 11 pounds and 98 pence. Of course, we have seen them already a little bit of in action. Your item number is 787741 is your item number. Then we have got a structure paste. Now, a structure paste is a big, uh, you're getting two of them, yeah. don't you? Yes, you yeah. do. So for 12, 14 pounds and 99 pence, you're getting two of these ones and you're getting 230 mil in each. So you are getting, uh, you know, practically half a liter. Uh, so that would be uh, 460, just under half a liter, as I was saying. And of course, uh, with the structure paste, you can create some of these gorgeous flowers. Can you use it as a stencil paste? Yes. And 
you know yeah. oh, lovely you can colorize it as well yes we that the uh, metallics and the pearl paints have been colored with oh. it in the previous samples 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price but uh, for two of them remember it's a 460 mil that you are getting because you are getting two of those ones and can we see it in action Julia? yeah so there's a couple of things I'm going to show you with it very quickly uh, I've got another all in create stencil here this is the sunflower abundance and I'm going to just pop just just use it as you'd normally expect and just to because I want to take it off, the stencil off of it so you can see how it reacts when it comes yeah. off um, it's it's a little bit it's more fibrous than um, say the modeling paste that Pentart do but it's not as fibrous as the fiber paste okay. so it's kind of in between it's it's the middle middle daughter or middle okay. middle child if you like but you can see that it's quite it can be quite flaky as, as you as you spread it through because yeah. of the fibrous nature of it so if I take it off my stencil you can see ah, we've got we've got texture that. but if you remember if, if anybody's real, got really good memory when I take fiber uh, it off um, fiber stencil off fiber paste it really pulls up yep. but this doesn't okay so okay. that that's it that's it through a stencil and that's what I've used on my uh, patina effect heart oh, yeah. so so it does dry reasonably quickly as well which is is um, is really nice the other thing that you can do is like Paula's shown and I am a complete and utter novice at this is um, you can actually um, add some over the top of your um, your toppers to yeah. create a dimensional flower if you like and I know Leonie's done this with uh, I don't know if it's with this paste but she's definitely done it with a pentop yeah, paste it, yeah. so you can use your spatula and actually a metal one's better but I don't actually own one so this is a very very old um, heartfelt creations uh, topper from years and years and years ago so you can tell that the heartfelt creations card can uh, you know paper packs can take this kind of product can i say i'm extremely hungry just looking at you doing that it looks like a either cream <laughs> uh, you know i just want to just kind of cream cheese uh, cottage cheese yeah i th i was thinking of meringue as well oh i love meringue it's one of my my favorite things you in know leonie the other day she did some vegan meringues they were amazing did I much she? rather like that. Yeah, it's with um, it's with is it with um, what is it called? Chickpea uh, liquid. Really? Uh, yeah. And it was just 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 really good. So I've got I've got my you see I've got my my main kind of structure there, yeah. and then if you can use your spatula to kind of imitate petals, and you can take a little bit away if there's too much. Just move it around, yeah, and it's easier to do it at home when you when you're taking your time. I, I, you can see it perfectly. On the other hand, how gorgeous! I have to say, I remember when the first time that Leone was practicing on how to make them. It took her a few goes. Yeah. So don't think that you you know like it's all like always. Practice makes it perfect. Exactly, exactly. So you've got the idea. So so then uh, and it does. It's really yeah, weird it's because it does. This one's dry. Yeah. And it has even though this this particular. Uh, Car, uh, paper pack is very very old it's kind of taken some of the color off yeah. but what you can do then is take your um, pearl paint oh yeah you don't need much probably a little bit more than that and then take a paintbrush yeah. and then you can paint over the top and it doesn't detract from um, the actual topper itself yeah. um, but what it does do is give you a little bit of dimension and if it's a little bit thin here and there the paint's going to hold that hide that for you and of course this being the pearl paint this is going to dry nice and pearlescent mm -hmm. um, obviously the papers uh, it has it has kind of bowed a little bit but I found if I just kept my fingers on my glue a little bit longer than normal it settled down quite nicely and the the um, the sample that, that you show, Paola, is exactly me doing this. So, 
So that's all there was to it, really. That's gorgeous. And, uh, and I have to say that that's just a simple technique that shows showcases the amazing versatility of the structured paste in there. Uh, you remember, you are getting two of them uh, for, of course, uh, you know, the um, 14 pounds and the details are at the bottom, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Now, from the structured paste, we are moving on to crackling paste. Now, here you have got a set of three metallic ones and you have got the beer, you are getting 100 mil on each of them, 14 pounds and 97 pence. And this is the gold. Look at the beautiful metallic luster. Look at the beautiful turquoise, the silver and the gold. Now, um, uh, Julia, can you mix your own, like with those three colors, create your own version? Of course you can. Absolutely. Like, oh, and look at that thickness of it. The, now we want to mention that on the website there is an end of call which is when when you are going to go to check out you have got like you put these ones to the basket and then and you added it to a you know this bundle the cracking paste you add it to the, your basket the basket and check out and then you have got oh yeah that's fine I agree to terms and condition you check out Sakura there is that free delivery add-on so that means that three pounds and 99 pence no extra charge for uh, PMP uh, you will get of course the crackling primer Julia you mentioned the acrylic primer it makes a lot of sense to get it with the crackling yeah the cracking primer yeah it's it, it, the, it, the, it, it will crackle without but it's better to have it there um, uh, it helps the cracks they are very big cracks so I wonder if the primer also will hold the cracks better yeah yeah absolutely because sometimes and big cracks means that they peel off the metallic, um, the metallics don't seem to crack quite as quickly as the uh, matte cracking paste. Okay. And also, um, I found that um, heating them is is probably not a good idea. It's best to leave them to crack naturally. Yeah. They are beautiful. And how? Look at the, I, you know. I have to say that gold and the turquoise together is just a stunning that combination. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, can you show us how to use them? Okay, so um, I've got a, an MDF heart here that I've I've given it a coat of the Pentart black acrylic paint, which we've had on several times, and I've also then uh, added the uh, primer on top and leave it to dry. Uh, I, I, I pop, pop this on at the beginning of the hour, okay. and, it, and it's yeah. and it's dry now. And what it is, it, it's like it's not a tacky tacky, but it's it. You know, it's it's not a flat tack, if, if you know what I mean. So, um, then I'm going to add... Now, depending on how thick you put it on, will depend on how big the cracks are. So, we'll go for it with this one. We, we will actually put all three colours on. So, this is your gold. And, obviously, oh, yeah. if, we, if I have it on that thick, it's going to take a very long time to crack, and it's also going to um, crack big, which is fine. I'm going to just drag that down there. Ooh like that and then we'll add a little bit of the, um, the I think it's called turquoise isn't it is it called turquoise uh, I don't know what the color is doesn't really say on my pot oh it does uh, silvery turquoise even that's what it's called anyway you get all three don't you and there's a lot in these pots actually an awful lot look at that and this, I'm going to go over actually on this one and merge the two together like that. And we'll add a little bit up there as well to merge it so it's all covered. And then obviously don't waste it like I am. Obviously once you've mixed them you can't really go back in the pot and put it back in. And then we add some of the silver as well. Obviously thicker in the middle and I'm going to go quite thin on the outside. So obviously the thinner it is, the thinner your cracks are going to be which is quite nice. I quite like the really thin cracks. Sometimes with the thin cracks, it looks like you're now, not going to get any. Julia, you're back at two, aren't when you? At two, we'll be able to see what this is like. Perfect. But we can, we can kind of put textures in here, so we can use like a texture comb. Could you put on top of that, uh, that powder, that, the 3D powder? Yeah, that won't interfere with the cracks at all. It will stay, yeah, it will stay in it. We can sprinkle some of that on just, just, just yes. for the hell of it, uh, wherever it's gone. Would it mattify it a little bit or will it still the shine come through? Um, it should be fine, actually. Okay. That's not the right one. There it is. It should be absolutely fine. 
because it, it's it's only going to sit on the top, isn't it? So yeah. it's, we can sprinkle some on. We, we put, put some around the gold area there, so we can just look at that differently. So that'll add a little bit of texture to it. Obviously, you can then you can also um, take the end of your brush and kind of draw in it if you wanted to. Ah. And then you will see how the cracks behave against where you've drawn very badly. Um, I like, I like, can add, like You can see the gold coming and then from underneath. Yeah, you can. You, you'll obviously you'll see the cracks will be black because yeah. that's what's underneath. So think about your colour underneath. If you want to have lots of different colours underneath, that's absolutely fine. But personally, I found that that it's better to have a matte paint underneath rather than a metallic yeah. or a pearl paint underneath so we'll be able to sit i don't think it'll be completely finished drying but it will be pretty there uh, at two o'clock so that's how you use that phenomenal thank you so much for showing all the different products and what they do uh, let's have a quick recap of course of what we have got from Pentard. we have got the transfer pens uh, of course uh, we are getting two uh, for uh, there you can say for 10 pounds and 99 pence that allows you to transfer printed elements that you have put into your laser printer or maybe photocopier and of course transfer them to whatever you card you want canvases fabric if you want on fabric then you of course you can uh, heat set it from the back and of course that will make it washable but also you can then use it for maybe MDF raw MDF that will create the perfect transfer as well experiment as well what sorts of mediums works on 301746 is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence is the price for both of them and remember you have got a bullet point nib in here so you have got another bullet sorry a chisel one so then you can write uh, as well um, no just write you can go in sorry I kind of go, go in say right but but you can say you have got a little bit of uh, little lines in there so you can make sure that you go into those uh, elements in there right the next item uh, is the tacky glue now we have got two of them and of course you have got the pot of a hundred mil of the mix leaf in that beautiful copper and silver in here you ha can see them here you can see the variation of color that you get beautiful colors and of course on to black uh, you can see it, how beautiful they are the opacity but you are getting two of them with that this one is the bullet and of course you can take it out and insert it on the chisel so you have got both options in there now if you want to go for this set your price is 13 pounds and 97 pence and making a saving of three pounds brand new here to Hochanda 061967 is your item number then we have got the patina set in here I love sets like this because it takes all the kind of thinking oh do I have the right color the right finish it will that work now you have got 9.99 is your price and of course you will be able to, I'm kind of this the green effect i'm covering it up because the rest is using another set you can see it here the gold uh, the copper coming through and then we have got of course the the uh, rust effect pound rust kits now this is one of the busiest items now this the reason being i think for 9.99 having the ability to convert mdf pieces of paper with that rust effect with this perfect colors the beautiful kind of a sort of earthy tones and of course that 3d powder which i think is phenomenal giving you that illusion of crop that without all any of that metal and rusty smell that other kids will give you eight zero five six seven three is your item number then we have got of course the metallic set it's a try me i comes in 200 mil uh, sorry 20 mil pots in here and you can see the fine nozzle as well you can take it out if you wanted to have a big blob and of course you are getting six of them for 12 pounds which means that they work out at two pounds each those beautiful paints and look you can write with them you can have that mansion you have got the beautiful uh, of course metallic effect with the gorgeous um, teal turquoise uh, and as well two pounds each you're saving three pounds in total Total 158744 is your item number. And then we have got the pearls. Now, the pearls, again, you are getting six of them. And of course, for 12 pounds, it works out at two pounds each. Now, you're just saving three pounds. And of course, 252084 is your item number. And finally, we are going to have a look at the ice crystal paste, the snow crystal 
gorgeous duo. I absolutely adore that one. Uh, you're getting 100 mil on both of them. 11 pounds and 98 pence is the price. 787 741 is your item number. Now, Julia, you are back at two, yeah. uh, two with Alex. Yeah. So you are going to keep experimenting, are yes, you? Yes, absolutely, yeah, more techniques, yeah. And I love how they all make some match, some sort mm -hmm. of different ways. And I love how you have shown us that you don't, we don't have to be afraid of uh, using them and experimenting. No, no, that's what I've had to do. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you can do that as well if you do check out your baskets and grab Pentar goodies to experiment at home. the break well Yanis and Natasha are going to take you to the quilt room then the happy planner Leone and myself and of course creations by Corbona storage at 12 Hello, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chander my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. This is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products.
I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Pachanda. Hello everybody, a warm welcome. We have got a really, really nice hour ahead with the quilt room. Can I introduce someone who's looking quite glam? It's our Natasha. Hello Natasha. Hello. How someone are you? got into the hairdressers. We were talking about this actually, Rebecca. You've got, well, yeah. you've got a rule. What was your secret that everyone needs to know? Tip your hairdresser well. Those yeah. that have tipped well over the years get seen first, I'm pretty sure. Well, ob <laughs> obviously, I have not been tipping my hairdresser. And I loyalty can't get in. as well. Loyalty, I've it? had the same hairdresser oh. on since I was 18. When I've lived in the area, even when I haven't, I've. It I've pays. <laughs> Tipping and loyalty. You yep. look great, by the way. You look great. So well, thank you. Um, we've got a really nice out head. What I want to say, and just from a personal note, is uh, getting to chat. Too. So, fortunate enough as presenters, we, we obviously, we, we chat. Uh, and Natasha, how long, I'm just trying to think how long Natasha's been at Hochanda. How long have you been at Hochanda for, Natasha? Since January. It feels longer in a good way. You know, like, no, no, like you've been part of the family for a lot longer. It was one of those things that um, as soon as Hochanda got in touch and said, come and join the family, yeah. it, it felt like I'd been here forever. And yeah. it just, there was, there was no awkwardness or anything. Right. It was just, ah. You just slotted straight ah. in. Yeah, and it's lovely. I genuinely, you know this, I'm not just saying this to the camera, I love working with you. And oh, same, thing, same, We do, we same. enjoy working together. But one thing I, I, when we're preparing for shows, what I really get a sense of is the knowledge Natasha has. And she places so much importance on learning. She's a real uh, a pupil of what she loves. And with these shows, we're going to be arming you with that education from a lovely brand. And can we talk a little bit about the quilt room? Because oh, they are a lovely, lovely uh, couple. Yes. Mother so, and daughter. Pam and Nikki Lintot mm -hmm. um, are, are the quilt room, uh, effectively. Uh, they are absolutely lovely. And the very first time that I met Pam, I'd been sat on a table having a drink, um, chatting away to this lovely lady, didn't know who she was, didn't, didn't really know. Um, I, I knew the name, but I hadn't asked her what her name was. And I was, I was meant to be giving out awards at an award ceremony. And of course, there I am, mid-award, and, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> and it's this lovely lady that I've been chatting to, and up came Pam. So, um, yeah, I absolutely. You didn't know you were giving her an award. I didn't know that on. I was giving her an That's award. Brilliant. So it was even better because some oh. people you just meet and you click. And then when I came to Ho Chanda, um, she said, "Would I mind? Would I mind? Oh my goodness! Pam and Nikki have sold over two hundred fifty thousand books. They really know their stuff. So it's not mm. that I mind. It's an absolute honour to yeah. be able to bring their patterns to wear." to her chanda and to be able to spread their wealth of knowledge you know i mean it's learning from great people like this and that's 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 the joy of it and that's it. please stick around for this hour because natasha's got some great demonstrations we've got the two books that we're going to be featuring we'll start here uh now we're having a flick through yes you were telling me, Natasha, one thing that really strikes you, colour. So the importance of colour, especially within these books. So expand on that a little bit for us. So you can change the feel of a quilt completely. So that quilt there, in black and the blues, and the striking colours there, got quite a masculine feel to it. You yeah. did that all in pastels, it would feel so incredibly different. Oh, it would. So the colour yeah, choice yeah. changes the complete feel of a quilt. And Pam and Nikki know this. So what they've done is given you two different colourways just to show options. And there aren't many books that do that kind of thing, that realise that actually yeah. that colourway is going to change the feel very much to if you did it just in, in lighter colours or, or whatever. So they give you two different colourways as, as a... Um, just as, as an idea. Now, if you got the Stripology ruler from earlier, this book is absolutely perfect. This is um, based around desert rolls, dessert rolls. Uh -huh. Ooh, yummy. Yeah. Uh, which is a five inch strip. So if you've got your Stripology ruler, uh, get into that stash and start chopping five inch strips and all of these quilts can be made from five inch strips. So that quilt there, that black one at the front, yeah. I think they're the same. Oh, okay. Completely different feel. Right. But certainly it's getting that feel um, for how can you, oh no, it's slightly different, but okay. how can you 
how can you change the feel of a quilt simply by changing the colourways? And, and that's what you've got in there. It's such, I, I was flicking through, you've got such good explanations. So obviously, you, there's your quilt that you're yeah. going to be working on, uh, all the information that you need, breaking it down. You've got that pictorial guidance as well, the figures. So everything extremely straightforward, which is what you need, especially when you're building up a quilt. They are great teachers. And the thing is, is that sometimes with photography, you can't get into the nitty gritty. And that's when they take over with the diagrams. Yeah. And so you've got that. You've yes, you've got beautiful photography there, and it's absolutely it's good. I mean, look at that quilt. It's just it's like braided hair. It's, it's nice. just beautiful. And again, from those um, five-inch strips, absolutely oh. stunning. And there it is in a different colour. Can you see the warmth then from bringing in reds and those more homely colours? When you think about it, for eleven ninety-nine. So, oh my goodness! I mean, you would pay. Let's just say this one pattern. So yeah. marmalade cake. Yeah. So using your dessert rolls, yeah. going through one pattern, I'm low-balling it, fiver for one pattern? Oh, that's really cheap. Okay, well, what would you say? Oh, you can go anywhere from 5 to 12 99 for a quilt pattern. It depends. You know, what you are paying for is expertise. It, yeah. It's like when people want something for nothing and you think you're not just paying for Get that it as a pattern. A lot, yeah. you, are, um, you are paying for um, the knowledge, yeah. the expertise. You're paying for the education. You're paying for... Um, for art college and all the things that have brought them to this point to be able yeah, to really produce a book. This didn't happen overnight, else we'd all have books. We don't yeah. all have books. There's something really special about Pam and Nikki that allow them to teach and have really um, accessible books for any yeah. level. See, the fact that it's sold over 350,000 copies really speaks for itself. Yeah. Uh, the amount of information you're getting in this one book, the reference, it is a beautiful book. It's so well constructed. Uh, Pam and Nikki, I mean, I haven't met them personally, but hearing lovely. your stories, they, they really do come across lovely people, yeah. but they know what they're talking yeah. about. Right, gonna show you uh, next option with regard to books. So having a look here. Uh, second edition, so continuation, you've got the layer cakes. So we had a look at the uh, dessert, desert, dessert rolls, and now we've got our layer cakes here. So jelly rolls, charm quilts going through. Just look at the front. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now, we talked about the fact patterns, how much a pattern will cost. If I just pop that down for a second, we have the completed quilt here. Look at Upside down. that. Yay. So I'm just going to show you. I mean, they are, that is a sizable quilt. You can dip into your stash, but that you would happily pay $11.99 just to know how to make that. Of course. Of course, absolutely. And you should. Yeah. But when you get a book, of course, you get that added value. Yeah, I mean, look, the, you can see what I do like as well with the patterns. They, they've got their own personality. Yeah. They, yeah. You can see how talented they are. Yeah. So what I wanted to just show you there is the fact that for 11 99 and there's presenters here at Hochanda, we appreciate because we do show, we offer such fantastic patterns going through. But when you break it down and just think about as we're going to go through this book, you're learning to make all of these different blocks, so uh, or quilts, I should say, patterns. So you've got your charming windmills. There's another one. I mean, it is just pattern art. Look at that. Okay, just for a class. Imagine going to a class and learning how to do this quilt. How much would you be paying? That would be a weekend course, easily. easily. And I don't, I don't want to just keep on drumming home about the price. But I think for 11.99, even 15.99. It's a fantastic investment, and it is an investment in yourself. Uh, there we've got our four patches, the flip going through. Uh, so there, oh, I mean, that's stunning. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this, uh, so in this book, it's using layer cakes, jelly rolls, um, and your charm quilt. So basically, your pre-cuts. So yeah. if you've bought a, um, a layer cake, that's a 10-inch square. Yeah. Everything cut to 10 inches. <clears throat> Your jelly rolls, which are two and a half inch strips, uh, they go there. Um, and your charm packs, which are generally about five, five inch squares. Yeah. So that's what you're looking at. And um, all made out of those. 
if you have your stripology ruler of course you are just delving into your stash we've got to point out we have and i want to thank uh, the team and natasha for doing this because you had a very busy show earlier on with the stripology rulers uh, we've actually put them on the show they weren't originally going to be on this show but they are now on the show because they complement the the designs and everything on this so well well uh, pam and nikki them. and rachel from creative grids they often work together and, okay. and in a lot of the books you, you will see actually uh, they recommend creative grids and this is this is bringing together two of the greats in the quilting world is bringing together Pam and Nikki Lintot and creative grids uh, it's a match made in heaven and you know they wouldn't recommend um, a system of rulers lightly it's just it's yeah. the fact that they are brilliant and you've got two brilliant things together and it's happy days details on your screen uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to get down the rest of the counter a little bit quicker so we can allow Natasha to demonstrate but 11.99 your price if you do want to purchase the book 795 422 item number we're busy for both options I 100% endorse both and you know that we never stand I never stand here and really strongly endorse something unless I 100% believe in it they are fantastic books you will not regress it at that price I really do mean that they're coffee okay. table books as well they're, they're beautiful the photography yeah. is beautiful it you is. pay for all of that you you genuinely love those books and I mean that uh, right we've got some cushions for you now these are cushion kits uh, three different colorways you've got these be I have to say beautiful beautiful cushions we're going to be demonstrating this cushion in just a moment with uh, Natasha this is your Paradiso oh I like those colors beautiful blues just playing though with the playful reds in there that's very very nice you've got some florals so that's your Paradiso kit uh, next we have our Reverie elegant beautiful natural tones <laughs> coming through oh, I like this next one uh, next one is homemade by Tula Pink just some beautiful beautiful vibrant jazzy fat see I think I think you like them all but I could see this in your home yeah yeah it, it di different rooms for different things yeah. and this is what I say about color three of the exact same pattern how completely different how yeah. completely different just by changing the color in it you really see that same pattern as you said but by changing the color change the whole persona yeah. at 24.99 you're getting the instructions you're getting the fabric the kit everything that you need you just need to add the pad inside 574162 your item number now we've got an aqua quilt kit we're about to share with you moda beautiful designs uh, coming through here she's going to show you 84.99 is your price taking a look so this is what you were getting uh it's 64 by 76 uh, inch let me just show you here that is the size if we just hold that for a second i'll show you that in a moment i'm going to jump in and i'll, I'll give you a, a sense of scale because you can see something you're like well, i'm just going to give you I mean, that is a, it's a... a How tall are you, Yanis? A 6'1". Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's a, a great size quilt. Beautiful design as well. I just wanted to do that just so you can appreciate because we were chatting. I think for £42.50, pence, flexi payment, that is a great price considering the quality of the design and the fact that it is Moda. So, Natasha, help me out. We've got So you've got your Moda, yeah, your Moda jelly roll there. Yeah. Um, is it French general? I think it might be. Yeah. And then, but then, what you've got beneath you there uh -huh. is Sanderson, vintage Sanderson. Oof. How gorgeous. Oh, wow. I mean, those two. Just, just beautiful. Works just beautiful yeah. and then your background i think is macawa so an, again oh, another great brand saying all the great names yeah i know yeah. right that is when you consider what you are getting so macawa sanson moda uh, all making sort of uh, combining to make that beautiful design and it is a beautiful design it's it's an heirloom piece that okay that is that's what I should that's live the with because it is yeah. it ultimately if you look at the quilt it is an absolute heirloom piece and this to me uh, I think uh, really solidifies why the quilt room are held in such high regard it is a beautiful beautiful quilt for 42 pounds and 50 pence today or 84.99 so uh, the first flexi payment if you did want to split the price in half you pay half now and then in four weeks time you pay the remainder 001152 item number now we have got the same quilt, same pattern, uh, but just different colorways. This is your accru. So we're just showing you sort of more ready tones coming through. Uh, we are getting busy for our quilt. I kind of, and I was discussing this earlier on, Natasha, and I know we've got to be quick, so I'm going to show the uh, patterns, but yeah. 
if you're going to invest in something, yeah. and we appreciate, yeah. I know we're at Ho-Chan and we work here all day, yeah. but no one's going to be able to buy everything all the time. No, no, so, no, no, of course. And we understand that, but there's certain things, uh, I'm governed by, sometimes we have special price, yeah. we've got great price on the show, yeah. but also it's a quality and something different. And this is what I love about Ho-Chan, we bring such fantastic brands, and you've been pivotal to that as well, because you brought some great brands here. It's bringing the quality as well, and that's what we're bringing you every single piece of fabric on this show um, is top quality fabric and you'll feel the difference as soon as you get it home and as soon as you start to work with it if you buy a cheaper fabric if you buy a lesser fabric then things like the triangles on there as soon as you cut across into that bias it, if it's not woven well it, it, you're gonna get into a whole load of trouble and grief and it should be fun we should enjoy what we're doing and if you're working with lesser fabrics mm, you're making you know life that. harder for yourself. Yeah, and you'll know that. Okay, so uh, those are the choices with regard to uh, the quilts. You pick the option that works for you. So you have got that flexi payment as well. Now we've got patterns for you. So uh, you can choose any three patterns here. There's ones I really want to point out because Natasha was telling me just one jelly roll. Yeah. So having a look. So these are patterns where if you just want to use uh, or just one jelly baby, I like it. Uh, if you've got your jelly rolls uh, or you want to cut your own fabric and make them up, you've got all these beautiful designs. Have a look here. So we just pause there, the teddy bears, because I know the quilt room have worked very hard to bring us the actual quilts. So I want to show them what we do. Might show half now and half next time I yeah. go down the counter. There is your teddy bear. Just going to hold that up. Now, come on. Uh, and I know Natasha is going to be showing us how to do one, uh, one quarter of that. So. They do a sew and flip or a flip so. and sew technique, okay. which gives you those ears and anything that you see that's got some sort of shape um, is, is the technique. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. Uh, but suddenly it makes that incredibly accessible. Okay, so that's uh, stick around the sound. Natasha is going to be demonstrating that. As we look at the next one here, so that one, uh, I'm just going to grab it. This one? Which one are you looking yeah, at? I think, oh, no, I oh, think no, that one up there. This one, yeah. yeah there one. we go, sorry. All right, so there we go. Ooh. They're sizable, aren't that they? Is, I mean, that's you a big really quilt. Are. So just showing you that. There's the windmills. And where did Yanis go? <laughs> <laughs> Just stand here. So now, it's when like you the appreciate peekaboo, pick, yeah, <laughs> but picking three. If I just pop this down, picking <laughs> three. Hello, I'm here. Uh, picking three of these for twenty four ninety five. There are there are six. So I'll just show you one more, and then we'll get to Natasha. Let's oh, have yeah, a look. Oh yeah, yeah. Moonlight. Up this one. Up one. Yeah, this that one. one. There we go. Beautiful. Let's show you this moonlight. And. Have a look at, I mean, the, the size colors. of the size of these quilts, Natasha, are inc I know. incredible. I know, they're beautiful as well. The colors in that, the design in that, the movement in that is just exquisite. Absolutely beautiful and really, really doable. Think about what fabric you have in your stash. What are you going to be uh, using to bring these quilts to life? And as Natasha was saying, colour can totally transform it. Right, we're going to jump onto the website very quickly and just show you. We have got some rulers on there. Now, this is your Stripology uh, rulers. They are a revelation. The first time I did a show with Natasha and the Stripology rulers, it was like a, a light bulb moment. If you ever looked uh, admiringly at say a, a jelly roll or a fat quarter and you wanted to make your own think about your stash because Natasha said uh, she says a lot to me and it kind of sticks with me and you're kind of saying that a lot of fabrics when you're buying say a jelly roll you're paying for the labor obviously in cutting it of course, so yeah. If Someone's had to do that. That doesn't come for free. Well, fair, and it's fair enough. Mm. Uh, but with the Stripology rulers, you're able to then buy your own fabrics, yep. cut them up yourself, yep. save money. Yeah. And also, when you buy a jelly roll, the thing is, is that it'll be all one designer. And, and actually, one of my favorite thing is mixing designers. And, and yeah. we've got that there with the quilts there. We've got, um, you know, you've got Moda and then you've got Sanderson and you've got a mix. Yeah. And so you can do that. Whereas if you're buying just one jelly roll, then you've got to love everything in there. Whereas if you're, if you're making your own, if you're using your Stripology ruler, you're using the fabric you bought because you love it um, and, and using it in your own unique way. So nobody else is going to have it. And that's the joy of it. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, a lot of us are scared of 
colour. And what I absolutely love about these kits is that the colour has been put together for you. Now, you can, um, you can mix it up if you want. The recommendation is that you go from dark through to light with your colourways. And these are, these are from a jelly roll. So these are pre-cut two and a half inch strips that you get cut. So don't worry if you don't have a stripology ruler yet um, because these are cut for you and that's absolutely fine. So this is a nice, quick, easy make or a beginner make, or maybe you've just finished making a massive quilt and you just want something that's gonna be done and look great, but be, be, it's, um, it's unwittingly simple. It, you know, it, it looks far more difficult yeah. than it actually is. So basically, okay. you lay out your strips in the colour order that you want. Uh, the one thing to bear in mind is that if you keep sewing the same way, you might end up with sort of a bit of drift. So what Pam and Nikki recommend is that you sew sort of that way with one and then that way the next and that way with one and that way with the next well I forget about stuff like that so what I've done to remind myself is so in pairs and I've started from this end on all of these and now I know that when I put them onto the other I'm going to flip it this way and start from this end so that I sew in the opposite way and That's that just tip. counterbalances any um you might unwittingly just tug slightly a fabric. We all, we all do it. It's like we all walk in a slightly different way. We all have a slightly different way of doing things. And this just counteracts anything like that. Um, so you don't need to worry. Off you go. Uh, using a quarter of an inch seam. So this is, if you, the biggest thing that I found was when I first started quilting, I realised I couldn't actually sew in a straight line. <laughs> and it sounds so stupid to just sew in a straight line. And what I would say to you is, if that is a problem for you, just get yourself um, a quarter of an inch foot, which has like a little guide on the edge. And that was a revelation for me. Now, I'm a, I'm a big grown-up girl now, and I've learned to sew in a straight line. Um, but I do often still get distracted by the cat, the dog, children needing endless snacks um, and, and other things. So I still, you know, still often work with that foot on my machine um, and they're great. So if you, if you do realise that actually it just gives you confidence, it's just one of those things that can just give you a little bit more confidence with your work. And hey, it's, it's whatever is, is going to help you get going. And that's what we want. We want to be able to make these beautiful things um, nice and quickly and easily. Now, maybe it will be that you love the colourways of one of these um, and then you've, you've got it, you make it and you will then go into your stash and then make it again because you've then got the pattern so you can or your fr you know how often do you make something and your friends go oh that's really lovely where did you get it and uh and this would be a lovely make then as a gift uh something like that really really beautiful uh in whatever colorways you then fancy but if you're just starting out then what an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous make this would be and one to be really proud of too so you can choose from your um your very elegant colorway uh, or maybe you want to go for the the slightly quirkier tulip pink or maybe you want to go for the lovely warm and cool tones that i'm working with here now um we when we press we're going to press from the lighter side here to the darker side there. So we'll just set the seam, always set your seam, and then just flip the fabric over and press, press away. We and have, that's we all do one we're going to do. We do special, Natasha. We have the, uh, it's a multi-surface book. It's one that opens up and it's kind of, have you, have you seen it? Yeah, I love yeah. it. They're brilliant. Yeah. So handy if you're do, off doing um, any kind of workshop or yeah. anything like that. Really portable, really, really useful. So that's yeah. coming up at 12 o'clock if you did miss it, but effectively it's, uh, it opens up. So when it opens up, you've got an ironing surface, so an A3 ironing surface. You've also got a cutting mat in there. You've got uh, a surface that you can put your applique in there. Ooh. Now that's interesting. We're really busy for the books. 
I'll always tell you if I hear something because I've just heard our producer Katie who's a great producer she's on the phone seeing if we can get hold of more stock of the book now we're we haven't sold out yet but I'm just trying to give you that indication of how busy we are for the books and genuinely as an investment you cannot go wrong. Uh, we might have a look at those. I know, I, sorry, I'm interrupting your demo. No, no, Natasha. no, you go for it. I'm just doing okay. straight lines. So you go yeah. for it because you've okay. seen me so a straight line. I've got one more straight line to do um, and then I won't let you interrupt me anymore. Yeah, okay. So uh, what we'll do, just very, very quickly recap the books only because we are uh, very busy for the books and I'm conscious we always got new viewers coming in. So with regard to our first option, half the stock oh sorry no no wrong wrong one we we'll start this way uh, half the stock has gone for this option so apologies i misspoke you can see the details on your screen this is for uh, your quilt room more layer cake jelly roll and charm quilts the amount of information in this book for 11.99 11.99 okay let's just make life easy you could envision as as a sewer you might have bought one pattern for 11.99 Fair to say? So now when you think about getting started, the foundation information within the book, and then when we start exploring, okay, so here we go, Galaxy Quilt, that's one you're going to be making. And there's a different colorways that uh, I know the, they love to show you the different color options. This is another quilt, Hidden Treasures, so that's two already. We've more than covered the price of the quilt. Oh, that was the windmill one, I've jumped over that, so there was a windmill quilt. You've got your uh, four patch flip, that's another one. So we're up to five different quilts. Uh, this is your high fashion quilt and I've got the completed example in the studio with me. So there's six, I mean, it just goes on and on. Five You've got- pounds a pattern or something ridiculous. What, it, when you think about it that way. But also there's the tipsy tumbler going through. <laughs> Great name. Uh, simplicity quilt in there but what you're doing and this is the real essence is the fact that you're using your charm packs your jelly rolls uh, elements that you already have in your stash or with the stripology ruler if you do have fabric and I know a lot of sewers will already have fabrics you're just chopping up your own and making it as a resource and this is where I think the quilt room excel and this is my first show doing uh, focusing on the quilt room but in Chattington and if Natasha and this I genuinely <laughs> mean this right so I pay attention if Natasha speaks highly of a company I listen because she really doesn't know what she's talking about so if Natasha is back and Natasha is uh, a big reason the quilt room is here so uh, Natasha wanted to bring this to you you cannot go wrong for 11.99 I mean that so there we go all right so that's one of the books 795442 uh, and we've got another option a third of the stock has gone here so uh, a great way to use all your jelly rolls or chop up your own so here we go uh, sorry jelly rolls dessert rolls I should say uh, 11.99 is your price and again I won't go because I want to get back to Natasha but you've got so many different quilts just like the first option but just different designs coming through 11.99 is your price there we go so the books are both popular there's something though, Natasha, about a book. It's a resource that we have. You can look at, you say they're good coffee table books, they're but you're beautiful. gonna keep it and you're gonna come back to them. Absolutely. No, and and you and hand them down. Yeah. Just don't lend them because they never come back. <laughs> <laughs> I have a yeah, it's one of yeah. those things. But they are they are beautiful books and they are keepsakes and they don't date, they don't go out of fashion. The gems of knowledge in there. Um, will still be as relevant in 20, 30 years time as they are now. Uh, and you'll still be able to update the fabric. You're, the patterns are absolutely perfect for any era. Um, mm. and, and, it, and it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. I've just spied, uh, and we were talking about the Stripology rulers. You yes. can go onto our website or use the Hochandra app and you can catch up on the seven o'clock hour where we really focused on these. But you saying how well both companies work together, and I think this next demonstration is going to be a good example of that. Natasha. Yeah, it's one of those things. I could use I could use my 24 and a half inch ruler. I could use all sorts of different rulers, but I have it here. So the very first thing, once we've um, once we have sewn all the pieces together, I've just folded it so that it fits under my ruler. I'm going to take off the salvage edges there. And that's it, that's it, nicely squared off, no drama, <clears throat> all good. And then in the cutting instructions, it tells me to cut a strip for in a four and a half inch segment. So again, 
super super easy now the next one is a two and a half inch strip so if i add the half and then add two more inches that takes me up to seven inches um, there we go that's me up to seven inches and then the last should be a nine and a half inch so where was i at seven seven there or actually if i want to move it across then that's super easy to do as well. Just line up my zero line there, line the base up along uh, one of those lines there, and then I'm gonna cut, uh, I always double check because once you've cut, you've cut. Uh, so then you've got all of that spare to do something else. Nice. So I then have my pieces, and what we will do with them, and it's, this, is, this is the whole trick of this beautiful boardwalk is, they are your three strips and we're going to intersect with a two inch strip any second but when you look at the quilts what you'll see uh, the cushions rather is that oh yeah and that's it just so i've picked this up uh one of uh, the cushions just to have a look and you can see how beautifully the design plays on it you you start off your demonstration by saying it's one of the quilts where they look fantastic very appealing to the eye but they're not hard to make no yeah. no 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 absolutely absolutely nice. and all of your measurements are there and all of your fabric is there so then we just need to cut some more strips mm -hmm. um and i believe it is do, 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 do. uh what have we got what have we got what have we got uh two inches right okay, okay. just as you're setting up there uh, a reminder we have got a seven day savers and if you are watching uh, natasha using its rotary cutter it's actually one of our seven day savers so having a little look you're saving six pounds six $16.99 your price. Your Fiskars 45, 45 mil is a great size when it comes to rotary cutters. Uh, so standard rotary cutter there. You're also getting the spare rotary blade too. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a pinking blade uh, in there. $16.99 is your price. 642-343 item number. So the pinking blade, would that work like a pinking shear? Yeah, that's, 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 that's the theory behind okay. it. So, um, but obviously that won't, just so that, to make that really clear, it won't work with it, with the with the grid. Yeah. So okay. don't expect to get a, a wobbly blade. Well, you can't. In, no, it's no, too you can't. thick. No, yeah. but you, you know. Okay. That just, just in case anyone's like, oh, why doesn't that work? Mm -hmm. um, right. So, but it's handy to have, really yeah. handy to have. And sometimes they're quite hard to get hold of. So it's nice that it comes in part of that Something pack. a bit different, yeah. Uh, so we've done that. Right. And then it's just a question of sewing all mm. of those together it is that easy see that looks so deceptive in the sense when you look at the completed cushion you've got well this is actually like a paper crafting in the sense we talk about layers and layers yep. appealing you've got that layer of interest yes. coming through absolutely and you've got something that just distracts and takes takes away just for a moment just lets your eye rest and and then you don't necessarily notice that it's flipped but it kind of fits in with it but you notice something's mm. different it gives it some movement it's absolutely beautiful and then how you then quilt that if you want to or just you know make it up as a normal cushion is entirely up to you um, I'm not going to sew those strips okay. together because we know how to sew a straight yeah. line um, and I want nice. to show you some other techniques I thought that strip coming down was on top layered on top nope. that's it's, it's a great design well yeah because you that otherwise you wouldn't be able to get that Visually twist appealing, yeah. of the color in between it's beautiful uh, okay so those are our kits remember we've got three different options with regard to the cushions if you do have any questions for natasha we love hearing from you studio at hochanda.com so just very quickly to give you a reminder of the options with regard to the uh, cushions so first option this is your paradiso that's by kate spade so it's moda fabric oh so a really beautiful fabric, Moda fabric, top quality Moda fabric, and the designer is Kate Spade. Love that. So uh, next we have our Reverie. So uh, lovely neutral tones coming through, a beautiful, elegant uh, cushion there. And then finally, we have Homemade by Tula Pink, which you can see here, bright, vibrant, impactful. Uh, so those are your kits. Now you're getting everything that you need to make these beautiful cushions barring the uh, cushion pad you need an 18 by 18 inch cushion pad you can find those on our website 2499574162 your item number now the quilts uh, being another very popular option you heard natasha say how nice is it to be able to offer you a quilt that mixes some iconic names so you are getting your moda strips in there 
So you get your Moda, Moda Jelly Roll in there. Then you're getting, we'll just have a look at the completed uh, quilt. So that is the completed quilt. You can see how it's used to such great effect. The Moda Jelly Roll, you're also getting, now have a look here. It's Sanders, is it? Sanderson. Sanderson, sorry. So you're getting your Sanderson fabric, which you can see there. And they haven't been doing quilting weight fabric for that long. So that's one of their, uh, they've only been in the last couple of years have they started doing quilting weight fabric. That, I, believe. I mean, you see how well it all mm. complements each other. And then finally, we have our... Macawa. Macawa, yes. So we've got our Macawa there. Uh, three and three quarter metres of fabric that you're getting to play with. But ultimately, having that pattern, being able to complete this as a quilt, I will do the quick run across just to give you a sense of scale. You can see... It's a great size quilt, but a beautiful quilt as well. The color tones, I think, are exceptional. $84.99, but being Ho-Chanda, you can split that price in half. £42.50. 001152, your item number. We have got another option, different item number for this. This is your uh, accrue option. So you are getting that Moda Jelly Roll. Uh, you're still, no, still Sanderson and still uh, Macau? Uh, I believe that might be French general, actually. I'm not sure okay. that that is. Um, All right. So different, uh, it's it, obviously different item number but here. But Moda. So yeah, it is, you're right. Yeah, French it's Moda general. French general, yeah. The Dasher knows. Uh, <laughs> £42.50 is your price. 208615, your item number. Uh, that was your first flexi payment or 84 99 if not. So those are your quilt options. They are beautiful quilts really are the only uh, difference being the uh, fabric used in the quilts that's why they have the different item numbers we're just going to jump onto the website and show you we have got uh, options with regard to the quilt room pattern booklet so pick a mix you're picking any three 24.95 is your price there uh, have a look what will you be popping into your baskets uh, lots to choose from are on there so uh, the thing is you're getting such lovely designs uh, the quilt room have an incredible reputation so many people speak uh, so highly about the quilt room so uh, you'll see why with the um, quilt pattern so do have a look see which ones jump out to you books are still exceptionally busy so oh now the layer cake option jelly roll and charm pack 70 percent of the stock and you remember earlier on i did point out that i heard and i'll always tell you this if i hear a producer on the phone uh saying is there going to be any more stock and then you know we're having a busy hour and we genuinely are so at 11.99 your price if you want to get hold of that option uh we've also got the other option here so it's all about the uh, uh dessert rolls so you uh, jelly rolls effectively having a little look over half the stock's gone here 11.99 your price right we're going to continue our demonstration with natasha okay so um i promised you um a little a little flip technique okay. all right and this is used in so many of their patterns and basically we're going to start off with a um two and a half inch strip mm -hmm. okay there and then we will just cut a couple of little two and a half inch squares you just see how easy this yeah. is just you know i would otherwise be stressing and trying to get it accurate and all those sorts of things don't need to absolutely no need look that's all of my little squares I mean, cut so and you're not going to make any mistakes no no you're well. really not uh, just follow those squares on the bottom uh -huh. of your ruler and you will get that two and a half inch you've also got little stars for every um one and a half inch strip as well so let me just spin this around now, as you're doing that, it. Natasha, you always get such lovely emails whenever we work together. Uh, if anyone wants to follow you on social media, how do we do it? Um, if you head on to Facebook and you uh, you head to Natasha Makes, mm -hmm. that's me. And and if you know if there have been demos here that I've done, uh, very often I've done a full one. Uh, you know, s you know, slower, taking taking more time because mm. obviously we're always up against it with our shows. Yeah. Then I've got I've got a catch up page there where you can watch demonstrations that I've done. Um, and all those all those sorts of things and you'll oh. see all these rulers because I use them day to day I wouldn't bring anything that I I don't endorse it doesn't work for me like that I mean, that's not not the, how it works the ruler is a game changer say the first time I did a show with Natasha and saw this ruler it, it, and a light bulb moment thought yeah. being able 
to suddenly create so easily yeah. and quickly and yeah. also precisely because yeah. that's one thing a lot of people you're scared if you invest a lot of money in beautiful fabric mm. you don't want to make a mistake when cutting it there this takes it's it's your safety net it takes all the uh, guesswork Absolutely. out of it absolutely um and and that was that was the big thing that was stopping me um i'd done shows i you know i i'd done shows with uh, with incredible quilters but i just couldn't get to grips with the rulers they didn't feel safe to me mm. it just it, it just didn't feel like a nice thing to do and then i did a show where the stripology ruler was there and it was wow bang and actually i remember pushing the guests out there and going i think i just need to have a little go at this and i stayed after the show i cut up another two and a half meters of fabric into strips and went home and and, and made a quilt that night wow and the, the cutting was done in 10 minutes. Yeah. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And that was the moment that I fell in love with stropology rulers and creative grids, and it's gone from there. I probably wouldn't be standing here without the stropology rulers and without creative grids because they've allowed me to create accurate work quickly and, and efficiently. You know, I've got a busy life, and if I were to spend all my time cutting, um, it would take me so much longer. Mm -hmm. These allow me to, to create things quickly, but accurately too. Okay, so what I would be saying is think about all the patterns that you have and fabric that you have, being able to then breathe new life into it. So you might have bought a kit. So say you might go, we've got some fantastic quilts from uh, the quilt room uh, on the show today, the two different options. Maybe you get the kit, the kit home, you make it, you love it, and then you dip into your own stash, you can do your own cutting. So you've got that option. And also you can then make for other people and then the colours that they want, because once you've got the pattern, you've got it. Now, in a lot of their, uh, their patterns, they will use this technique. So, for example, this is a four and a half inch by two and a half inch strip, um, and then you pop over the top, and that's just a little two and a half inch square. Um, and then I need to find my shelf of pen. Um, I'm going to make sure that I get this the right way around because otherwise I'm going to look like a right old fool. Um, I'm going to draw a line diagonally mm -hmm. across there. So this is my six and a half inch square. Again, I've gone for something smaller because it's more handy, it's more portable. And then I'm just going to sew from corner to corner there. Easy, easy, easy peasy, right? We're all good. Ooh, well, we would be if. Okay. Oh, I've right. come on, okay. thread it. While Hang you're on. doing that, Natasha, I can let people know about the book. Is yeah, that okay? do. We'll just sort that out, just do a thread. Uh, so, we've got two different options with regard to the books. We're going to start here. I'm just going to show you the quilt that you're seeing at the front. You see that there? I have got a completed quilt. I'm going to do, just pop it over the front so we can see that. I mean, how beautiful is that design? This is your high fashion quilt, uh, and it's just one of the many patterns that you are getting uh, within the book. Uh, what I would say, it works out. So this one pattern for this quilt, we, we, roughly, it works out about a pound a pattern within that book but also it's a beautiful book within itself uh, have a look and see say if you may be new to the quilt room um, once you start doing your research you'll know how I mean they've got such great represent uh, reputation within the industry they're so really well mother and daughter they really are yeah. aren't they yeah they, they are just some of the nicest people in the industry yeah. and let and me just have a flick through and show you which makes it really easy to endorse them yeah we Look, what I would say, whenever you see a show with Natasha, and especially if she's helped bring a guest to Hochanda, uh, she wouldn't do that unless she really did think a lot of a company and the guest. And this is what we love. You really have brought us some fantastic new companies oh, to Oh, thank Hochanda. you. It's been an absolute privilege. Um, every company that I work with is, is an absolute joy. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, it's, a, it's an honour to represent the companies that I do mm -hmm. because it's good stuff. Yeah. And that's really the key. You, you really do <laughs> place a lot of uh, importance on quality. We were talking about social media, and please have a look for the quilt room on social media and give them a follow because they're definitely worth it. And Excellent. you see those two different colorways, it's just, just gorgeous. Makes a difference. But all of these projects, I know I'm skimming through very quickly, but this is a resource that you are going to have at home be able to look at that quilt. Now, come Isn't it on. gorgeous? And you've got those instructions, you've got uh, the picture that in reference. Blues. Yeah dip into your stash you're gonna do you know what you could do as a little bit of a challenge 
is what about taking on a quilt a month? You've got so many patterns in there. Why not? So one a month, take it on and have a little look. Sorry, I interrupt your demo. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's absolutely fine. Um, so this is this is something that is used an, an, an awful lot. And I will show you. I'll get Yanis to, to chuck oh. a quilt at me in a minute. Yeah. Um, Which now, one do you need? Um, probably mm -hmm. the bear and the moonlight Sinatra, please, yeah. as as ones. So I've sewn diagonally across there and this is where you know I said in the earlier show um, about quarter of an inch is one of those things that we use so much in quilting well look here's my quarter of an inch here um, I've got that non-slip grip in there I'm going to line that up against it this is where <laughs> I just need to take a moment just to make sure that I'm not going to cut the wrong side um, I'm cutting quarter of an inch away from that straight line I'm going to take that away and then I'll take that to my ironing board and flip that away um, I don't know if you can see that down there but it just needs a quick press um, there it is back in the room um, and what you now have is something that can be on here so for example here that's the technique that has given you that bit there okay I see, yeah um, this is the technique that has given you uh -huh. that bit there uh, it's given you those bits yeah a form of this technique now I spotted this earlier as well because for me this quilt has such beautiful movement and I, I like to go and 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 dissect and go, well, how have they done that exactly this now this is just a square with a corner so again mm -hmm. it's there they've just they've just sewn a square over the top on that diagonal and then flipped it lovely technique and they've done it both sides so that's how you get that bigger triangle yeah. and and the overall effect is so impressive that's just a single one then you've got the double ones there but it's so achievable that was not difficult what i just did it, it wasn't it just wasn't so anybody can achieve it nice and that's i would imagine that's probably a 10 inch square yeah with one of those in each corner it shows how easy that is beautiful uh we've got Mm, around about 10 minutes, 9 minutes left. All righty. Like Challenge accepted. <laughs> um, I don't know what with. Let, no, I do know what with. Um, so let's have a look, shall we, at the quilt that we've got the on pits, the back yeah. wall, the one that Yanis has stood um, in front of many a time. Yeah. And I'm just going to, I will just dip in to my stash for a minute here. Um, mm -hmm just to give you okay. so we're taking a little look i will i'm gonna I'll, I'll head over again just to show you but one thing you're getting here now there are two different options so it is that play we've got your jelly roll from it's your french uh, french general from moda then you have your sanderson and you also have your macau so you can see with the macau uh around you call it the um would it be binding just up the top yeah the binding yeah yep, we're binding. teaching you Te good learning. job slowly slowly it is a beautiful design, but it's the quality of the fabrics that you're getting in there as well. So I'll head back to uh, Natasha and we'll uh, have a little play. Well, the first thing that I need are some strips. So instantly, instantly I reach for my stripology. There is, yeah, there's a reason that, you know, there's a, there's a whole load of us that stripology just is the way. Uh, Natasha's strippers, uh, it's a thing. That is... It's a great name. Yeah. So you might get. Some, it's a good name. I think it's. I great. was thinking about getting some badges, but I wasn't quite sure. You know. You should totally <laughs> do this. It would be a worry. We, so we, a four and a half inch strip is what I need, mm -hmm. and then two, um, uh, two, do, 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 two and a half inch strips. Have you, so, I mean, Natasha? Genuinely, I, and I know the answer to this, but. With regard to stripology yeah. and the creative grids, it yeah. has changed, it really has revolutionised the way you sew. Yeah, absolutely. And I absolutely. don't say that lightly. No, 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 absolutely. I would still be squaring up and, uh, have I got in the right, uh, and faffing about um, if it wasn't for the stripology. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be doing this. What can we make with it? So just to give an example, we can, oh do, our, we can do our strips. Everything. So, um... You can, of course, I'm just, I'm doing 
I'm doing two and a half inch strips. Now, mm -hmm. a two and a half inch strip, as soon as you can cut a two and a half inch strip, you can cut a jelly roll. Well, most of those books and patterns are based around jelly rolls. Now, uh, the one which is the dessert roll, that's a five inch strip, so that's easy enough. You just cut every five inches and you've got your dessert rolls without having to go and find somebody else's choice of fabric, somebody else's collection of fabrics. Mm. Um, you've got it in the colours that you want that's going to go with your house, in your colourways, or for a gift for somebody in the colourways that, that you want. It's as, it's as simple as that. It's having it your way. Mm. Uh, but then you can also, once you've cut your strips, you can spin them and then chop them that way and you've got your charm packs. So you've got your what, at whatever size you yeah. want it to be. With the fabric that you want, when you want. Exactly. And the best part of it is you're not paying for nope. someone else to do that cutting. Nope. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm going to sew these. I'm going to make sure that I actually go um, on a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to pull that thread up there. And I'm going to sew. So this is just sewing two strips together. Now, if you can do this, you can do you can do the whole of that quilt. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I'm not going to be too fancy about how I sew this together. Don't judge me. Okay. Uh, but actually, the Juki is a fantastic machine. My old machine used to pull slightly to the left, so I was always sort of trying to counteract that, and I thought I couldn't sew in a straight line. Um, hence the need for feet with guidelines and everything else. But it just it turned out actually when I when I got a great machine. Um, yeah. Do we have this on our website? Did I hear that right? Oh, we do. Do you know one thing I noticed? Do you know what? I'll it's stop how quiet the machine is, Natasha, as well. It's exceptionally smooth and quiet. So do you know what? Um, huh? With other machines, um, Baker, our director, will say, "Can you stop, Natasha, sewing?" Sounds just like that. That's a great impression. We can hear her. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Yeah. Only much deeper because he's got a he's got a much deeper voice. Yeah. Um, and I and then I'm like, oh, but I just need to because I'm always in a hurry. I just need to do this, that, and the other. Um, but actually, today I've got away with it. So I haven't. Quiet. He have genuinely got... hasn't heard my machine at all which is great if and it also means that i can sew with a small child in the house because it doesn't wake, wake her up either oh, just showing you on the website we have got the machine so having a look uh look it is an investment <laughs> do your research with it but i know with our kit you're also getting that additional uh feet set worth 200 pounds as well and you have three, uh, three flexi payments too 2794.99 uh any sewers though when you consider what you're getting the quality of the machine you'll realize that is a very competitive price it's the dream it is jo um, apparently 40 Catherine percent just bought of, one huh Catherine presenter Catherine just bought one good girl I know I know I spoke yeah. to her about it yeah um, yeah she will not be disappointed because it's a machine that she will never outgrow yeah that's it she's made for life now now uh, what I'm doing here I have got the 60 degree triangle um, and yeah, yeah, you you can. Uh, we're not got got them on show. We'll bring it another time. We'll bring oh, them another got time. them all. Yeah, there, there are places to find them. Natasha mm -hmm. <coughs> And okay. uh, <laughs> all I'm doing is flipping every time I go. So look, this is. And if you look at the quilt, actually, what you've got, and I could have layered these up or anything like that. The quilt that you've got behind you is just going to be like that. Can you see the diamonds? Oh, yeah. That's all. It's the one that run on the back wall. Yeah. It's just those. It's just that shape. Um, but in between what you've got, there it is. So you yeah. see that's just diamonds. Yeah. Ju uh, I mean, I say just Beautiful diamonds. trailing diamonds. It looks, it looks like, um, you know, rain down a, down a glass yeah. pane? Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. So now with this one, and this is the clever thing about the ruler and about uh, their use of it, I'm going to use on a three and a half inch line there, uh, which lines up my bottom on an eight inch there. I'm just going to take off that, spin it around, 
and then and then I can start chopping in earnest making sure that that bottom line is lined up on the eight inch line mm -hmm. okay now this is important because you'll notice um, between those diamonds there is just a plain fabric and this okay I've got to actually remember to do it oh, that like sort of negates everything doesn't it um, and this is how oh, it's this chopping mat again um, so lining up on that eight inch mark uh -huh. and then what I will do is basically just so that and that together I know we're fast running out of time but that's what that will look like um, and then that would go down there ah. so you'd sew that along there yeah and then that will flip like that and because it's creative grids uh, we've we've lost the dog ear already so as you can see when I put that over the top of that that is my quarter of an inch mark to start sewing on to get the perfect line there because then when I flip it it will be absolutely perfectly in line to give me a straight line I will repeat there and then once I've done that row beautiful and then you will have the kit so we've got the two different options with regard to the quilt you can see them uh, I'll find full details on our website can I say a huge thank you to Natasha Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. Always. Thank you it. so much. Uh, and also Pam and Nikki as well from the Quilt Room. Uh, love, love, love everything that you brought us. Thank you guys so much. Do find the Quilt Room and Natasha Makes on social media. Natasha will be back a little bit later on. So coming up next, we have got the Happy Planner. So many people have been looking forward to that hour. Uh, after that, we have cre uh, Creations by Core Bond Storage, our one-day special, Then So Girls. I'm Nikki Hassan and I bring Spellbinders products here to Achanda. Spellbinders are an American based company and they have been in the industry for well over 15 years. Spellbinders have always brought us dyes with stunning detail but today you will find tools, dyes and stamps within the Spellbinder range. What I love about Spellbinders is their partnership with licensed designers this always keeps my creativity flowing. I hope to inspire you with lots of hints and tips on how to use your Spellbinder products. So join us for the Spellbinder shows here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut 
meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Huchanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hello and welcome. Very excited about this show. Right, we have only got an hour and look, we've got to show you the fantastic covers for your planners. There's all different sizes, we'll be coming to them. We've got a mega sticker book, which was so, so busy yesterday. Uh, watch out for that one. Uh, farmhouse, modern farmhouse, absolutely exquisite. That is such an incredible bundle. Wrong, wrong. Um, incredible designs there, really nice and youthful as well. Really good, fun ones. This is gorgeous, all the seasons again really busy yesterday that is such a bargain oh, I want these now planner babe I've got planner babe envy that's my next one that I want yeah I want everything um, but this is where we're starting the floral and this is where I disappear um, please please make sure you also have a look on the website because we've got all this in this one hour we're not aiming to demonstrate because obviously we've got so much to show you but please remember look on the website because on the website we've got all the other collections that we just can't fit on the counter. We've got the fantastic happy boxes, which are just crammed with goodies. Um, we've got loads more accessories, loads more stickers. So please have a perusal at your leisure. But this is where we're going to begin today. Now, you did see this for the first time here, at, well, first time for her chander anyway, uh, yesterday. And this is a floral collection. This is exquisite. Um, the stickers, first of all, oh my gosh. These are a must have. We really look here at Agenda, we share our stickers, and this book is just exquisite. I think this book has probably, uh, everybody who's got a planner has probably got a few of these stickers in. I mean, look at that. You've got foiled stickers in here. They're just so pretty. You've got uh, beautiful, like your vellum, your clear vellum stickers. The clear stickers are ace because obviously the clear, so you can see through. They look fantastic. You've actually got four. 131 stickers in here. I mean, this is massive. I mean, you can see the variation as well. Stunning, absolutely stunning. The sticker book, if you just want the sticker, you can get that on its own. Um, I think it's £19.99 pence for the sticker book. Oh, right, it will be on the website. We haven't got the uh, the singles on this show, unfortunately, but they will be on the website. So please, if you do want that on its own, please check the website out. Or, or, this is where I have to take everything to pieces. Sorry, Jamie. Um, or, if you're stocking back up again, because maybe, maybe you've already had this set and you've already had them and it's like, need more of them. Okay, look, in this collection, not only do you get your sticker book, which is worth 19.99, you're also getting this collection as well. And look at this. So, we'll start here, first of all, with your beautiful planner. So, 
what you've got in this one um this is an 18 month planner i love that it's an 18 month planner because it means it's gonna last what i do love i mean there's a lot i love about the happy planners i love the fact it starts in july you haven't wasted any space you haven't wasted any of your valuable months on this one but when you look through your planner first of all um obviously you you put who it belongs to because otherwise that's you know you're, you're missing out um you've then got your year at a glance so that's that you can obviously start planning straight away and you've got your year in more detail so of course you can put more detail but then we start coming on to the months so you've got your dashboard I love this because this is where for each month you'll put your, you know, that your main goals, your special days, whether it be birthdays, whether it be anniversaries, weddings, whatever, your main notes for the month. So the things that are really important in that month, the big deals in that month. You've then got your beautiful uh, page dividers, laminated tabs so it's going to be protected. The big thing about the Happy Planner, these dividers, the artwork is gorgeous. I mean, just beautiful. They're a card weight as well, so they're nice and um, nice and weighty. But look at that. So with each month, you're going to have the full month at a glance. Now, that's brilliant because, again, now you're writing a little bit more detail. But then every week on this one is divided into your vertical. So this is a vertical planner, but every single week will have its own dashboard and I really like that because this is fantastic oh, a lot of us saying you stay lists you know if you're really into your list maybe your focus is maybe you know the focus this week is how many steps are you doing how much time how much time you're trying to cut down on spending on your mobile phone and that's one of my things it's like oh stop looking at your phone you know things like that so I, I love this I love that you've got your focus so every single week will have its own dashboard dashboard and then you've plenty of space on the actual planner I love this because you've plenty of space there you've even got now at the top of the page you've even got your space to put sort of Monday you know your main points Monday Tuesday so that would be if I'm working or not you know really like that um, obviously every single month you've got gorgeous artwork life is lovely um, and with the thing about happy planner this you make your own. You know, these uh, beautiful dividers, you can, you know, cover with gorgeous stickers if you want to. You can put your overlays on these if you want to. You've got a lot of the planners, you'll have really nice sentiments. So this one, the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. How fabulous from, from our opera, um, which is gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? And I love that the actual dividers complement the the season as well i think that is beautiful now with the happy planner the system is a disc system that means every single planner is customizable that means every single planner you can make your own you can add to it you can take things away you've got choices so that's your first one that's a big 18 month planner the second that you're getting in here look at this beauty now i said that were big this is actually classic size it's 18 months, but that's your classic. Now we're talking big. This is the bigger. And again, 18 months on this one. Let me just remove that so you can see how beautiful. They look beautiful. They're laminated. So straight away, they're really good quality planners. I mean, they are good quality. They're gorgeous to own. They're gorgeous to work with. Again, when you come into the planner, you're getting your full dashboard on that side. You've got your artwork on that side. So, of course, it's going to give you lots of space on there to actually write. I love the dashboard because the dashboard again is giving you notes it's giving you goals you know so like the smaller one um you'll get of course your full month at, at a glance but then as we come into the weeks it's the same kind of layer but obviously you're supersizing it so every week you've got your dashboard and then you've got that vertical layout on here and of course you're getting the gorgeous artwork um, let your joy burst forth like flowers in the spring beautiful beautiful so you're getting that massive massive planner there so again the 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 spaces i ruined ruined the spaces are all the same it's a real i love that about this system so if you're getting the punch and you're punching any extra pages it'll fit into both of them i love that next 
Um, next, you get your notebook. Now, the notebooks are ridiculously handy. You've got six pages in the notebooks. Again, really, really pretty. Really pretty. And what you've got in the notebook, double-sided pages, um, all, of course, ready for you. Maybe you put in your books that you want to read. Maybe the songs that you want to listen to. Maybe it's just your shopping list. The beautiful thing about the system, these will pull out. So your notebook pulls out, but then this will then go in here or in the big one. So it'll fit in there, which means, obviously, I won't put it in there because I'll go and forget I've done it. I'll actually put it in this one. So it means you can then pop it in there. So everything becomes personal. You can mix and match it. It means all your notes. So for instance, okay, for practicality. So the other day I had to ring up at my internet supplier, well, new phone supplier, okay? I hate ringing places like this. I hate it. Because you need to obviously ring them, you know, at least twice a month. So, and every time you have to look for the numbers, you have to look for this, you have to, with this, I put it on my planner, I put it on my notepad and then so I put on and as you're on hold you obviously doodle on it don't you so I put it on there and you're on hold an hour so you've done you've filled the page but then I put that page in my planner so next time I have to ring them tomorrow I, it's in there so I don't have to look for all the numbers again and I love that because I know that's something I could have done maybe on my phone, maybe, but actually I've put the notes in there. I've put the notes of the conversation in there, you know, so you can actually go back and go, no, actually, you did say this. Do you know what? <laughs> I know it sounds like that was a stressful time. <laughs> <laughs> it was nearly two hours, not an hour. Anyway, moving on. Happy planner. Um, but, but you can, this is the thing, it's practical, but it's beautiful. Let me show you some of the teams. So now look at this. How beautiful is this? Um, I love it because our Katie has made, uh, she does gorgeous, gorgeous knitting. And look at that. She's got, yeah, yeah. And look, look. And then what she's using this one for is her actual uh, little re reminder. It's a planner. It's, a, you know, it's notes on what she's used on a secret project. Oh, um, isn't that beautiful? Notes of ideas. How cool is that? I should have shared her. She's got a really nice Instagram page. She's absolutely brilliant. She's, do you know what? I think at Achanda, we have such a creative team, haven't we? You know, like, honestly, her knitting is amazing. And she'll come in and like close and be like, wow, I would absolutely buy that. Uh, this one, this one. It's our Kirstie's. Um, our lovely Kirsty is our floor manager. Whoop, whoop. Give us a whoop, whoop, Kirsty. She's just, she's done a <laughs> silent shout. <laughs> so this is our lovely Kirsty's. Are you loving it, Kirsty? Are you really enjoying it? She's nodding and being really quiet and shy. Um, now, I, I love it because everybody, it, it's one of those, the team have got into this. Everybody's planner is different. Everybody's planner is really personal. You know, going for it with the stickers, going for it, you know, with different colours of pen. Absolutely making the most out of it. Obviously going for it with beautiful washers as well. So don't just think you're only using stickers. You know, use it for your crea creativity which is gorgeous and it's exciting isn't it she is nodding she is nodding it's exciting and it's fun and it's practical literally the full team as soon as a and happy planner i said this yesterday we need to thank them because they send enough because obviously they can't send over finished samples because it had way too much it comes from america so they send enough so we can all have a planner which means we can show finished samples so effectively now we've got our own achanda happy planner uh, gang and uh, we've even got on achanda We've even got an Instagram page, which is just our Happy Planners Instagram page. But it's so cool because we're all sharing and we're loving it. And uh, no word of a lie, when the planners come, we're all like, oh, honestly. Um, the the Oh, yeah, we've got a little strap for our Instagram, haven't we? Yeah, because we've got... Ah. OK. We've got our Instagram page. We're going to give you a little nosy in a while. But it's lovely because it's sharing what the gang are doing. Um, 
Okay, if you do want to get hold of this, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a fantastic, fantastic deal. You are saving £16 here, which means which means you're, you're kind of almost getting that for nothing. Um, if you want to go for this, do not miss out on this. 549446, half of the stock has gone. Brand new to us here at Achanda. Now, that is going to be uh, dispatched from the 17th of July, because obviously, do you know what? This is a lovely thing. Happy plan I come from America. Normally, when you're buying things like this, your postage, if it's coming from America, can be substantial. If you're buying from Achanda, um, Obviously, your postage is the, the UK rates there. However, you be part of a Chanda Freedom, you're not paying any postage at all. It's a monthly 6.97 um, fee to, to be part of a Chanda Freedom, but you don't pay postage on any of your orders. You might only want to join today. You can cancel it straight away, and then this month, all your orders, you don't pay any postage. Also, if you're brand new to a Chanda, if this is your first order, you can quote... I've forgotten the number. Is it Hotch 5? And you get your £5 off if you're ordering on the website. But I can't remember the number. Yeah, we'll find that for you. But you'll get, that's for brand new customers, and you'll get £5 off your order as well. Okay, next. Oh, I love the planner, babe. This is my next one that I want. This is gorgeous. Okay, so first of all, you've got your fantastic stickers. Stickers are a big deal when it comes to planners um, because, yeah, we're using it practical. Yeah, we're using it for the boring stuff in life. You know, we're using our planners for dentist appointments and, you know, when we have to be in work. But let's make it fun. Let's make it fun and bright and cheerful. And let's give ourselves prompts. This is a massive deal for me, the prompts. Massive deal giving myself lists. You know, reminding myself that actually, you know, your gratitude list maybe it's going to be. Or what bills do you have to pay? But it's in a really fun, gorgeous way. And it's colourful and it's bright. And it makes you want to plan stuff. It makes you want to get organised because it's not a dre you know it's not it's not a chore it's actually it's actually like fun and i think that makes everything better doesn't it now you've got your stickers you've also got your inserts the inserts are proper handy you don't need to just use these in the planner babe you can use them in any of your classic it's classic size um, and you have got in that one i do believe it's 60 in that one but i can't quite find that, that one uh, da, 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 60 so you've got 60 sheets there i love this one you focus on and I've got some of these in mind. So on one side, you've got your, your focus on. Um, and then, of course, you've got your little your lists. I love this. List, list, list. And then the other side, you've got your, your dots, which, again, you can do all sorts on. And, again, they'll fit in your, your classic. Of course, they're going to fit in the large as well. Not a problem. You've then got, and look at all this. This is you're getting everything everything I'm showing you and 20 pounds off now you've got your um, your 60 page little notebook here again all of them are interchangeable and I love it because at the bottom there happy plans so you can use that for whatever you want it to be you've then got in this bundle these are the coolest thing you can get everything individual so if you just want these get on the website look these are well cool so look little pockets just amazing I want loads of these you can put your stickers on but for me your concert tickets you know you put your concert tickets in there and then you actually put them in the actual day in the week that that concert is coming I just think they are absolutely essential but they're beautiful they're beautiful love them um, you've also got in the planner babe and this again 60 pages let me just get that off. Um, so you've got your 60 pages of your gorgeous notes. So this is your notebook, but it has got your tabs, so you can divide it up. So it can be, I don't know, maybe it's going to be a shopping list, maybe it's going to be... At, um, you might be actually putting your own planner in there, or your own, you know, maybe you're going to make... Um, your own kind of, I don't know, maybe your own eating plan. Do you know what I mean? It might be your own exercise plan um, in there. Yeah, your, your meal preps. And then, look at this one. These are cool as well because these are your fantastic dashboards. So with this really nice heavyweight, you've got your tab on the top. So that, um, so for instance, these are well under. 
because you know you put them at the whatever day you're on so you don't have to flick around the whole thing you can put obviously notes on there I love the fact that you can see through them so you can see your page underneath and you're getting three of those this is such a cool accessory pack I love it. Again, all your different elements are available individually. So if there's something you love, get on that website. You will be able to get it individually. But as a big deal, you're getting 20 pounds off this one. You've got your two flexes. They're interest free. The first payment will guarantee that that gets delivered to your door. I love that one. 042657 is your item number. Do not miss out on that one because that is seriously, seriously cool. Um, again, everything available at achanda.com or you can give us a ring 01733 602000.